All right, I'm back. This has been happening somewhat regularly. My internet just, like, goes away. My thingy blinks, and it's just inexplicably gone, and then it comes back. I, well, if it goes on much longer, I will whine about it. But I did get, um, I did just get it, re my internet cost reimbursed by my company for the month. Yay. And get her. To make it better. Oh man, I really need to change my recording tracks to match what is recorded on. No, wait, that should work. Hmm. Yeah, 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 okay, no, it's just when I, oh, wow, who died? Oh, well, um, someone else must be glowing, right? That makes sense. Um, na, 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 na. Don't make it bad As a sad song can make it better Reconnection successful! I should be back? I should be back. I think I'm back. Na 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 Hey you Na 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 Yay Okay I absolutely refuse to get let technical issues get me down when I'm finally feeling all good again about streaming my whole deal Na 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 There we go. Na 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 Angel Na 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 Hey you Na 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 Oh wow, right, I gave you Bufodine. I forgot, I gave you something epic. Na 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 Frozen slash dead. Which means that I can do a nice little double and probably shoot you to death. Yup. Fabulous. All right. Oh, look, perfect Triforce! Perfect Triforce! Perfect Triforce kitty bath time! Na, 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 na. All right, now let's see if my thing actually plays the next song without whining. Na 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 Hey you Aww, that's right 
Today I shared on my work like Pics of Kitties Slack channel the um, the album cover picture that you took of the three boys like on this table. Kit. Na, na, na. All right. Will it play? Will it play? Will it play? Yes. Hooray. It worked. So due to the nature of how I like made the uh, the na 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 list, it is sort of it's sort of starting off kind of um like random, <laughs> which I dig. Oh, I thought that would blow them both up. Oh my god, is that line she was my steady date until she put on weight? Because it might... I might make it lose for that. That's so annoying. <laughs> Oh, right. That one is expensive. I think I'm gonna just, like, charge everyone. That is a good heal. My god, I get a lot of turns for this. I get 11 more turns for a ward. Damn. Okay, so that will knock him back a bit. Oh man. All right, well that's annoying. I can't walk like through people. There we go. I'm glad I'm actually, so one of the great things about this project is that it spans, spans genres and ages of music. Which means, I'm like, I've never heard a One Direction song, like, ever. I'm, I'm sure I have, and I can't identify it. Like, I don't know this. I don't know this song except for, for the last, like, two days where I've been doing this thing. And I also really love how, like, like super late into the thing. Right, I've never, like, I was not aware of any One Direction. And Tanuki, if you want to see the na 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 list right now, it does not have everything that came up yesterday, but it's uh, the command is na 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 for a link to the YouTube uh, playlist that I am building of all of the candidates. I will capture everything suggested starting today that meets criteria or even almost meets the criteria. Like I put Havana. Because I think it's like worth it for anything that's going to be like ranked even in the honorable mentions and everything. And also, Kit was so happy that you proved that the Batman, because that's the first thing. When this came up, we were talking about this in the car. Kit was like, obviously the winner is the Batman song. And I and I made the argument that it's like just memefied that we did the non -anas. And then you totally vindicated them. Our band director literally keeps using the same One Direction <laughs> pep tune like every five minutes. I swear to God, I have to hear it again. Ah. I think that there is a 
skip command. I just don't know if other people can use. I mean, I mean, I know that there's skip voting, but I've never used it or tried it. Is it? Is it? It's not this one though, right? It's a different One Direction song. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm sure you would have fucked off by now. Oh, an act, my. What Makes You Beautiful? Oh, I hate that song. I do know that one. I didn't know that it was One Direction, but um, that song makes me crazy. It's, uh, it's, it's the one that's like, what I'm attracted to about you is your inability to pattern match um, beauty, like Western beauty norms uh, with your self-image. It's so annoying. I could have sworn that it would be like a peppier pep tune. You called it a pep tune. It's not that peppy, is it? The list at, at, at present is a little random because it only had like the latter half of, of the chat from last night plus we call all stands tunes pep tunes what's a stand tune stands tune stands tune pep tunes i can still remember the like best things i did in like middle school band like the like the best thing i think was the the santana um medley that was a great, like, middle school band thing. Short songs will play in the football stands. Oh, or basketball stands in between plays. Cool. That's neat. That makes sense. Pep tunes. That makes sense because you're pepping. It's not pepping. It's not that the tune is peppy. I mean, I'm sure it is the way that you do it, but that it's like, it's like pep squad, where it's like the point is to pep the, pep for the, the sporting event. Okay, I don't think there's any enemies in the area of those. Sort of? Well. No, I can't reach anything else. This one's gonna go high up. I think that what I will do, if I continue to be as into this as I am now, is I think that I will create some criteria upon which I am judging. The Apple Pokemon! Okay. In what? Hold on. Sorry, I just assumed immediately that you're talking about Pokemon Go, even though I have no reason to think that. I just, I am always thinking about Pokemon Go. <laughs> but yeah, I think I'm going to create some criteria upon which I actually base the na 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 ranking. Na 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 Like a phantom, summons two decoys, allows an additional action. Scarlet DLC. That makes sense. I only know the Apple Pokemon from new Pokemon Snap, where finding it is, like, delightful and adorable, especially if you're not already familiar with its existence, like I was not. No. And it was also my first, um, streaming game. Technically, my first streaming game was, um, Breath of the Wild, but that was literally only because I was, like, getting used to streaming and hyping for new Pokemon Snap, which, like, I just have been waiting for my whole life. And, uh, then when it came out, it was basically my first, yeah, it was basically my first, uh, my first proper streaming game, and it was epic. Land of a Thousand Dances. Oh, 
Oh, hang on. Phantom Judge. Heavy damage in medium area. Downs anyone in cover. Oh. Na 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 I never knew what this song was called. It's called Land of a Thousand Dances. I'm going to be forever after this month or however long I do this, like the like abnormal like my abnormal area of expertise is going to be songs with na na na's in them. <laughs> I'll know nothing about music except I know all the songs with na na na's. I'm gonna learn all their histories. I'm gonna do all this research. Watch me make this into a whole thing. I'm, I'm either gonna like make this way too, way too complicated and then peter out before I finish. I'm gonna make sure that I don't do that because that is exactly what the ADHD brain wants me to do. Be like, I'm gonna make criteria for all of them and research all of these songs and then like create this like epic tier list. Power ranking. One of the criteria is absolutely going to be just like how much I need to like drop everything and just like rock out to the na na na's. I really liked this game. I don't know that I'm finding it as... Yes! There it is! Kit, you can hear the na na -nas. They're at the end, mostly. See, this is all I remembered. Still no nananas. There it is. Right at the end it goes na 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 na. And I have to give it points for the fact that it's so iconic that even without remembering that there are na na na's in it, everyone memifies the entire tune to be na na na's. Exactly. Ryan now, hi. You should check out the Discord because you can add things directly. So, there's na na na's Okay, so th this is the na na na. It's so good to see you. So here's the na na na, like the playlist to view, but also in the Discord, in the sub only lounge. We thought to call it the sub only lounge, but we called everything else not safe for work rather than sub only, which we should totally do. But that's where you can actually add things directly. I decided to make that a sub only privilege, which I think is very fair. Um, anyone can add stuff on here to the playlist and anyone who adds something like I'll consider it to add and I'll try to be on top of actually like going through the thing and look at this Triforce, a perfect Triforce. It's a perfect Triforce viewing and on screen is perfect. What this means is that, so I did do some chores today and had like a really fun relaxed time. Had some fun personal massager time. And 
anyway, I did a whole thing where I like I reset this table so that it actually fits perfectly right here, and it's like I can sit here and ah, uh, just a whole thing. Okay, you know what? Sometimes you're just, and I'm like very happy at work. My new job is great. I'm actually motivated at it. I actually like sit and just like I'm working and I like it. I'm not annoyed when when I see that there's like work to be done at like before ten. Thank you. And I actually like know what I'm talking about, which is really fun, without everyone else being an idiot, which is like kind of shocking and amazing to me that like I don't need other people. I don't know. It all happened a little suddenly. Um <laughs> na 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 Everything is wonderful. Na 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 What's the Everclear song that I know that was like there is a song It's like a series of vignettes about a bunch of people with having a like a shitty time. It's very over dramatic. Um and totally appealed to me in my teens. Oh my god, that's horrible. I never, I don't know this song well. I was vaguely aware of it. But I, was that line just, I don't want to meet your friends, but I don't want to start over again? Is this a very depressing song about being stuck in a, no, 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 it's not. It's not that. It's, it's not I Will Buy You a New Life. I'd know if I heard it. And it's, um, oh god, it's such a like, I hesitate to say good song because I don't really know what that means, but it, no, it, um, there's like, there's like a song, it, like, one of the vignettes has to do with like a, like a teenage girl who's pregnant and whose, like, father is being a dick about it, um, and, but like, that's one of the, it's not Slide, which is like the Goo Goo Dolls song about, I think, abortion or suicide, um, that was a weird way to, sorry, I didn't mean for my thoughts to trail in such a casual way about such very serious things. Um, but, like, and, like, oh my god, what was this song? No. No, no, no. I, I, for some reason I have this vague idea that it's by Everclear. I don't know that it is at all, but Everclear seems to remind me of whoever it was. Um... But yeah, it's just like, it's just one of those, it's sort of like how, it's sort of like how Piano Man, okay, good, I'm glad. It's sort of like how Piano Man just sort of goes through like some people at a bar and like their various moments of circumstances. Na 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 na. Okay, so why do I, I apparently have Land of a Thousand Dances on here twice. Do I have it by two different artists or do I just have it on here twice by accident? Or do I? Maybe I don't. Maybe the other one was just... No, I do. Wait, oh, I have the original and the Ted Nugent one. You know what? Fine. I'm going to leave both. Both are good. This is... Ob yeah, no, both are good. I think that versions, versions count for the things that I'm going to count. Thank you. Thank you so much. I think that the Ted Nugent one is the one that's more popular. I think it's the one we know this. Everlast! Oh my god, Turquoise, you are nailing this! Everlast is right! Everlast absolutely did the song that I'm thinking of. What is this song, Turquoise? You know this song, and it is by Everlast. Kit, what is the song by Everlast? Also, look at these kitties, they're so good. Sunset, sit down. I know that I'm being horrible, but yesterday you guys did not care at all and I just danced the whole night. Also, hi, turquoise! Na 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 Okay, there must be evidence as to which one came first, even though I'm sure it's one of those things where neither is. 
what it's like. Yes, 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 that's what it's like. You're right, what it's like by Everlast. I, I, I think I just saw was it by Ever. I, I, I just misread it as like was it by Everlast. What it's like by Everlast. Turquoise, you're completely right. You're completely right. That's the song I'm thinking of. I haven't thought about it in a billion years. But it was like one of the songs on my iPod that I used to listen to. I'm almost afraid to listen to it again to find out if it if I hate it now. Um, but I, I don't know. Even though Nan and Oz are the only things that are allowed, we're also allowed to. I did not hear it on the radio. I think that like... Whatever whatever it was, I did not hear it on the radio. It just, like, sort of came into my life because of, like, a, I don't know, a Now CD or something. I don't know. I don't know why. Um, oh, yeah, I don't, I don't think that I had that. That's why Everlast made me think of Everclear. Everclear made me think of Everlast, or there we go. Let's see if this actually gets you the right thing. Wait. Oh, right. This is it! Alright, let's find out if I still like the song or not. I'm allowed to do this, but otherwise it's only not an us. We're allowed to do musical memory, what, rose, whatever. This whole thing is an exercise in Saf knowing more music. Slash remembering music. I don't know. The thing is, I definitely love the musicality of it and the singing. You fucking saw now he replies. I think I like it. A bit I had to walk a mile in his shoes. Cause then you really might know what it's like to sing the blues. No, this is I think just a good song. I have no shame about this. This is this is great. I love this. There's I genuinely don't think that, like, I will qualify this about whether or not this song is trite. It should be trite, but it's not. That he was in love. And the man you've been dreaming of. Three months later, say he won't take her already in her call. Her off his balls. I walk in through the door. Had a killer, and they call her a sinner, and they call her a whore. God forbid you have had to walk a mile in a shoe. Then you really might know what it's like to have the blues. Then you really might know what it's like. Then you really might know what it's like. Might know what it's like. Then you really might know what it's like. This is a really good. I don't know if I know that one offhand. I. <laughs> Phil. Wait. Is there a Phil in Squid Game with two. with two L's? I don't remember now. Yeah, no, this song should not be good. But it's very good. And the reasons are like. Ah, oh, man. This is perfect. I'm glad that this is, I'm glad we're doing this because like me having just like a bunch of like silly thoughts that I want to just kind of follow is like exactly the point of what streaming is an outlet for for me. So it's because like it should, the nice school, but that was Phil. Aw. He was sweet, but I'm, I approve of his non-victory. Um, Shit and wound up dead. Yeah, th I think that, okay, so the main reason that I think that this song could have been trite but isn't is because there are some very specific writing choices in it that 
hit so hard as so real in terms of casual cruelty that people give each other. And it's a pretty old, it's a very old, it's like a decades old song now, and most of it is still true. And, and they're not even saying, they're not answering the, they're not giving, the reason it's not preachy is that they're not giving the answer to what it's like. They're just saying that you don't know. And they're saying, if you had some circumstances, which I haven't, like, essentially, the, like, what it, what it suggests is that I haven't had these circumstances, but if you did, you might know what it's like. I'm not saying that I know what it's like, but why are you doing all this, ca- like, the whole song is about casual cruelty in a way that is frustratingly still mostly very true. This is going to be a total, tonal turn. But a good one. I want to make another drink because it was very yummy. How are we doing on... It doesn't matter. I'm gonna... I'll put up the... I'll put up the... The crossword and the music will continue. And I'll listen to it too. And I'm just gonna make a drink real quick. Maybe I'll put like 60 seconds of ad. I don't think anybody watching right now is in the sub anyway. So I'll be right back. Itching to play HZD. Wait, what's HZD? Oh, Horizon Zero Down. Dawn. Fair enough. Totally makes sense. I appreciate you hanging around and giving me some, like, uh, solo attention support for as long as you did. Anyway, yeah, I just want to make a drink, and I'll be right back. back. Let's take a look at the crossword. Because I do feel no one cares about the game, which is super okay with me. Let's maybe keep that up around somewhere. The game is interesting. Yeah. All right. Thank you. I needed to hear that. This is my favorite one. It's going to be really like this one's going to be artificially inflated by how much I how much it meets my sensibilities. All right. So I think I've settled on Di Sirono, whiskey and Peshad's with ice. 
And I really like it. Is that a thing, Kit? Is that a something? Oh my god, what is it? What I make? It's a drink! I made a drink. Oh, I love this muchly. Okay, yeah, no. I think what's gonna happen is I'm just gonna like, I'm gonna just have an ever increasing na 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 library until I am ready to do my my power rankings, which I will do according to whatever rules I choose. Where am I going? Is that where I came from? Which means I go there, yup. Yes, this is where I want to go. Fine, keep following us like I care. Oh, wait, I can go further up now. Wait, that's the wrong way. That way. Oh, wait. Oh, you have. All right, we have now been hit enough to get. Oh, Natalie Merchant. Okay, this one was one that came up really late and then we were like, oh, this is such a big one. This absolutely deserves so much credit for its deal. I actually want you to get your SP back so that you can do a, another Bufudine because it was damn powerful. Because this is absolutely perfect for all the criteria that I care about. It was very popular. People got... Like, it had tons of radio play. And, like, it's nananas are all about, like, singing along to... Alrighty. Nice. It's fun to see someone actually use the um, the commands command and see what there is, because sometimes I do forget myself. Uh, do jukebox. Yeah, those are not actually all. And honestly, those aren't all of them, because that's only the ones on Mix It Up. I don't know why the, the stream... Usually there's two, one from... One from uh, Stream Elements. That should give you all of the ones having to do with the jukebox. Although, you can see at the bottom, it says Natalie Merchant Kind and Generous. That's like actually on the screen. No, not duh. It's small. I mean, you're not, which I only say because, like, Cool Angel, one of our, like, most awesome people, is legally blind. And is just like, every once in a while, I'll be like, I'll do a big enough thing, and you're like, I can see you, because I'll be, like, big enough on the screen. Na, 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 
na 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 na. Do not even begin to apologize for things like that to me. Because of, here, there's a concept called glass houses. I don't know about impressive, but just like, just sensitivity to the fact that blind means a thing. And she's not here. Like, I don't know if this is, this qualifies or not. I'm not going to speak for, I'm not going to speak for that. I wouldn't know. But I think you're being super normal. That's all I mean. This is such a... I just, this is just such a, such a great choice. And I love it so much. Oh, dang, I only have to go around this way. I don't even have to... Cool, all right, that's the path. Figured it out, no wonder. This one's gonna do well, I can tell already. Like we did this one recently. There we go. Na, 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 na. Kid, it's the original. All right, I, I think that Kit is also streaming, so might not be. This is the original. The whole thing with this crazy story behind it. Oh, is that what's going on? I want to see you kiss him. I'm also kind of dying to see the original. Um, I'm going to see if I can incorporate the... Uh, the scene from Remember the Titans that makes this such a thing. Ooh, Phantom Judge. Okay, what I should do is... Well, what I should really do is start with you. See where you can get to and what you can achieve. Hey, 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 goodbye. No. Is there just talking in this? some goodbye.
Is that the only... I mean, I remember that they sang Ain't No Mountain High Enough. This was one of those sort of, like, vaguely perfect... Um... Genre... Genre movies. Nails the thing it's doing. All right, hang on. Let's let's pause this for a second because I really want to do also for this because of the thing that we're doing. I uh, I I changed my preferences so that if something from the background from the backup playlist is playing, that a song request will actually just like stop it in the middle because we're doing a very specific thing. I want to actually watch this. Hang on. I want to rem I want I just want to see what it is that I remember as so like what scene made this such a thing? the goodbye. I get it. Yeah, no, it's Turk and also the um, the bully from Boy Meets World. Yep, it's Turk from Scrubs. You're fully correct. It was Turk's, Turk from Scrubs, um, one of the bullies from Boy Meets World, whose father in the thing was Mankind, the wrestler. Um... The blonde kid was the first time I had ever in my life seen a thing in mainstream media where, um, where uh, a boy kissed another boy. And they used the euphemism from California. He's from California. And they actually handled it okay, considering. All right, a Rod Stewart song. I don't know the nananas in this, but but yeah, that was Turk. I totally forgot he was in that movie. I might have to watch that movie. I'm sure it's on Disney Plus. Cause it's one of those sort of like platonic ideals of like a certain kind of movie. I remember there was one called Miracle where I think they were trying to do that, but like there was it was too boring. Yeah, no, because it came out decades ago, and that, yeah, it was like a, a Disney movie with Denzel Washington about, like, it takes place in, like, 1962 or something? Yeah. Wait, hold on, 1969, 1972. Okay, so 1960, 1972, I think, is when it takes place, because the song, Na Na Na, Hey Hey Kiss Him Goodbye, came out, was, like, a huge hit in 1969, under a fake band, which is the whole thing that I went into yesterday, pin. So, it made sense that this, this movie that took place in 1972, those kids all knew that song, and, that, and it was incredibly poignant. That scene is incredibly poignant. I'm, I'm not surprised that it turned into, like, a thing. In, like a, it's, like, now a thing that people do at, in, like, sports arenas and shit. Hey, Distrar. Yan Yarbin. Um, that people do in sports arenas and shit. And that makes sense just because of the association with that movie. <laughs> 
it's also funny like i remember i used to be ashamed that 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 movie is why i knew um in a mountain high enough marvin gay but like i now forgive myself because i realized like i was a child <laughs> you're not supposed to be like you know aware of musical history or whatever when you're a child it's the appropriation of these not appropriation honestly uh, the, 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 like, usage of these things going forward in media that allows them to propagate into formal, into, yeah, I'm familiar just from the sports context, but forgot it was in Return of Remember the Titans. Exactly. That's the thing, right? Like, I think we, I think a lot of people forgot that it was Remember the Titans, and that Remember the Titans is why there's a sports context, but I don't think that there was a sports context before Remember the Titans. That's the thing that I'm pretty sure Remember the Titans caused. And as long as we're on it. I'm also accepting um, different versions of the same song because I'm going to I'm going to take into account um, like classicness, um, not classicness. It's close to that. It's a uh, iconicness, which specific versions get to have different um, different levels of claim over iconicness. My god, the the scene that has a no mountain high enough in it is like long before they start singing. I mean, it is an iconic scene. And it's like it heavily features Turk. I will probably play it at some point tonight because I cannot help it. Na 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 na. na. Like I think that this song is going to get credit for the Will Smith of it. <laughs> so I was talking yesterday about the about the arc of Will Smith's career and how incredibly carefully he had um, planned it. Well, not planned it. Um, managed it. Hold on. Somebody who was at the finish line died. Oh wow! Multiple people died. I was. I should have paid attention. No, that's fine. I don't have to pay attention. This is this. I'm just chilling. I'm not playing this game extremely seriously. It's one of the archetypically corny old with Will Smith, Will Smith songs. And the thing is, like, he... I, I'm very impressed with Will Smith. He managed to do Will Smith and DJ Jazzy Jeff, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Men in Black, and, um, and Independence Day, and this all in like the same era of stuff as very much a like strategic jumping board to becoming an A-list actor who would never be this silly ever again. And we can still listen to this and it's not like, you know who we actually make, like we, we actually make fun of Marky Mark for being Marky Mark and, and ascending into proper acting stardom. And like, but with Will Smith, we never actually hold any of this against him. I wonder if it's like actually like one of the few cases where like, racism is actually sort of like protecting him i don't know i don't think that's what's happening i think that will smith is just an incredibly meticulous businessman he's he like gets away with not ever taking any roles that are that where he is not the star um and being clear about that like he turned down um the the role that jamie fox took in in quentin tarantino's um django unchained 
specifically because he was looking at the script and he's like, I'm not the star and I like, I'm only a leading man. I don't really do um, ensembles, which is like a thing that most people would look really bad saying, but it's like, you look at Will Smith's career and he's like, you're like, okay, fine. He doesn't even have to only do good things for him to, uh, it's interesting. And then I was talking to Ro and like Ro was telling me about how Will Smith has also been like, like sort of somewhat controversially the, like the spokesperson within the black community for, sort of like black civility um not things that i remotely have the um expertise and and context and awareness to talk about at in depth but just like will smith is an interesting figure i think jackie chan has said kind of similar things just always wanting to play the good guy yeah and will smith doesn't want to always play the good guy but but will smith always wants to make sure that whatever projects he takes he is the star um and Jackie Chan, I can completely see. And the thing is, especially because both of them were um, having to be the star, but similar in terms of uh, message control, how kids see him. Exactly. And the thing is, I think that it actually matters that both of them were sort of trailblazers and being A-listers who were not white men at the time. And I think that having extremely careful, clear brand maintenance was very important for them. And it worked, right? Like... They're iconic without having to have had everything that they've ever made be excellent. I think they were both extremely smart businessmen. There, and I've also accepted that there will be some bias to the era of my music awareness. Because... Yeah, things that, like, like you can only measure iconicness in recognizing iconicness. And so, like, I find this song to be, like, not nowhere on the iconic scale. But I can see there being people who have never heard it before. Exactly. Yeah, I'm going to, exactly, it's my list. And when I do this, when I do this, I think I'm going to come up with various criteria and a lot of them are going to be completely subjective and it's going to be fine because the fun of it is for it to be silly. Silly and subjective. I can totally see why they'd insist on being a major character given how often diversity considered of a token POC side character. Exactly. I mean, I'm talking more about the fact that, like, by the time Django Unchained came out, like, Will Smith was an A-lister, right? Like, I I'm not really talking about that. Like, he managed his career in a particular way. He still does that, but very few white actors, I think, would admit to um, turning down ensemble roles where they were not pretty clearly the star. And I do kind of get his point about making more sense as a leading man. I mean, he tried to do suicide. I'm, and I'm not saying that Suicide Squad wasn't a train wreck for other reasons. And I didn't see it. I don't care. Don't talk to me about it. The original one. But, like, Will Smith does not really work in ensembles very well. I think this is probably a little bit of him getting his deal. There is something about Will Smith not really working in like he was the genie in um in Aladdin and notably much like um Robin Williams he was the only person who was like famous and important like like in that movie he wasn't the star technically but in other ways he was the only big A-lister there and it was he had to be that big in order to bring something that Will Smith not Will Smith sorry um Robin Williams that Robin Williams brought to it is that instead of somebody who would imitate Robin Williams, Will Smith could just bring Will Smithness to it, and it worked. It totally worked. I'm not saying that it's like as as iconic as the original animated Aladdin, but it's a very good movie, and frankly, the Jasmineness in that movie is amazing, and I love it. He might also just know his limits, and that might be one of them. I think that that's true, Turquoise. I think that Will Smith gets that he has a particular kind of presence that doesn't work well in ensembles. He seems incredibly practical. And this one is going to get 
some real credit for the meta-ness. Naomi Scott was a star of The Amazing Lemonade Mouth. I think you're telling me about a project where Will Smith was not the star. I don't know this one. I, I mean, like, I'm not making this up. Like, this is the actual reasoning that Will Smith gave the press as to why he passed on um, what ultimately went to Jamie Foxx with the, um, the, the Quentin Tarantino movie. Wait, what? Lemonade Mouth. Wait, was this just a... He seems not... Wait, what? Is he in this? What What the fuck? Yes? Wait, what, what is Lemonade Mouth? Hold on, what is Lemonade Mouth? I don't see Will Smith in this. What are we talking about right now? What is this thing? Naomi Scott? Why are we talking? Okay, yes, Naomi Scott is in this. What are we talking? What is happening? I don't understand. There's no... Will Smith is not in this movie, right? Is this just like a left field thing where you're just like, oh, wait. What is Lemonade Mouth? Oh, it's from 2011. Okay, it's from a while ago. Oh, Naomi Scott. Right. Jasmine. Sorry. Yeah, no. Still. Yes. And, 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 and the, the girl who plays Margot, I have not seen it, but that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is star power. She didn't have star power. You don't get a role like that without having roles like this under your belt. For example, my favorite role in the world is Margot. And I'm worked up slash whatever enough to hang on. Let me just quickly do the thing of... Somebody do Margot, please. Just to just to make me happy. Just do the Margot command. Just to make me happy. Just for that. Summer Bishel. So Summer Bishel was the star of Towelhead, but no one knows who she is. And I also think that she would have been a perfect Azula. I mean she was technically as she was Azula, but like, yeah, then then they then M. Night Shyamalan botched uh, botched live action avatar the first time. It might be good this time. I'm not fussed anymore. It's nice to sort of be at an age where, like, I don't care anymore if a thing is good. I just am happy. Aw. Guys, want to see the crowd I got? Okay, just because that was the the one we got, I'm going to go and put on the crown that I got for my, my new my new Margot crown. Even though it's never going to matter again because nobody wants to do any cosplay of Margot now that the Magicians is gone and the the only year that I was ever going to do it, I did it. I did it and it's our business cards, okay? So our business cards are me and Kit doing Margot and Elliot. But I want to show you, I, I bought a crown and there's a whole story I'm not going to tell you because it's slightly traumatic, but it's great. I love you. I'll be right back. Saffron's off. Ender, sit down. You're in the way. Ender, stop it. Ender, no, not there. Ender, sit down other places. Ender. Ha! That's fair. <laughs> this this might be an only first. Ender! I'm trying to show them my crown. Ender, no. Ender, see, that's my crown. Ender, I'm trying to show them my crown. There, right above, okay. Over there, guys, over on the side of an ender is my crown that I'm trying to show you. I'm trying to show you my crown. Ender. 
Ender. That's my crown. Hi, guys. Hi. I can either, you can either see the crown or my eyes. No, and No, Ender. No. Is it always Ender? <laughs> Ender, you diva! Ender, that's like even worse. There, you can see kind of bits of my crown and the corner of my hair. Ender. Ender, what are you even looking at? Okay, hi! Hi! I get screen time! Ender, did you bring this here? You must have. How hey, did this you? This song is awesome. And I just proceeded to just be a fan of the song for the rest of my life. And it's called If Only. And I love it. I love it very yep, much. Sometimes it's sunset. And Atlas, just as being a person who was dating me. Hey, Cat, you're literally in front of all the. Cat! God damn it. I am talking about Hanson right now. Thank you. <laughs> so. I mean, that is some good only first. Ender has brought his toy slash found his toy and is playing with his toy slightly off camera and I want to see if he brings it up to camera. In fact. You see it? You can see it a little bit. Let's do that for a while. For a minute, why not? All right, cat. Hello, Boomy, you're here. Okay, it's not always Ender, cause that time it was sunset. Oh my God! Holy shit! Tanuki. We'll take our leave and go. Tanuki, thank you. Thanks for the raid. I'm gonna quickly pause Havana so we can see your clip. Kitten, good kitten. I mean, bad kitten. I mean, good kitten. It's not always Ender. Sometimes it's sunset. That other time it was sunset. What is this clip? I think this is your latest clip. All right, let me read the, the Tanuki thing. Tanuki, the Chicago-based Filipino collector and teacher, has been on a gaming marathon. From hosting Mario Party Community Nights to diving into Super Mario RPG for the first time, they've caught the Genshin bug too. Despite being under the weather, they've kept up with Fire Emblem Heroes content and even reacted to winter trailers. Now it's Pokemon Community Night with Teal Mask DLC excitement. Woo-woo. Yeah! God, Frosty Tools are the best. I don't even remember setting up Frosty Tools. I just did it that quickly that I was like, I think I just did it like impulsively. All right, what am I even doing right now? I forget what I was doing. Is it because the music stopped? The music stopped. Oh, right, because I paused it. There we go. The music is back now. Hey, welcome Raiders. What were we talking about? We were talking about, I don't know, cats? We were talking about cats. And we're talking about my, my Margot crown. Isn't my Margot crown amazing? And yes, we are doing the na-na-na thing. I'm still deciding how. I will totally watch Lemonade Mouth, for sure. Look, I, it, my impression, first of all, Naomi Scott was a highlight of that movie. She was amazing. Um, and considering that it totally reminds me of how um, uh, Summer Bishiel was like the star of Towelhead and how, yeah, actors and actresses from that sort of realm get to yeah and like you know like how the new ariel in in the little mermaid is from like uh, actually i did know her from uh the gro the um growing grown-ups growth no that wasn't it uh mix oh um blackish blackish there we go why was it blackish and grownish that's it so Blackish was the actual show, and then the spinoff where the girl, where the daughter goes to college was called Grownish, and two actresses from that turned into being things. One 
ended up being, well, not things, but to me. One ended up being the most amazing character in How I Met Your Father, the spinoff from How I Met Your Mother, that I think was really underrated um, and is now canceled, unfortunately, because I was interested in seeing where it was going. Although, I feel like it lost a little bit of its spark in the second season. But I still thought it had, like, a lot of real promise. And I enjoyed the, the it's up, it, it updated in ways that I was excited about. Um, and then another actress ended up being, um, Hallie Bailey. I'm sorry, it's just so hard not to say Halle Berry. It's so hard. So yes, so this is on the playlist because I think anything that, even things that might, even things that are, that might end up being, um, disqualified on technicalities based on the rules I come up with or variously. Aw, look at a perfect little. Okay, how many cats are here? You guys sort of know because you see an ear, but this cat, look at this diva cat because there is a whole other cat right here. Look, I'm gonna pull up another tail. See, separate tail. Although that his tail actually I have on many occasions. Ender, uh, Sunset, nope. The other one, Moonlight. Moonlight will have his tail somewhere and I'll think that it's Sunset because Moonlight's tail is as orange. It's so clear that Moonlight and, and Sunset come from the same genetics. Remember. Oh, look who's coming. To make it better. Hey, Jude. Nope, you're not playing with that. That is my... Go out and get her. But I mean, what did you call it when you were getting the, the Triforce? It was Triforce... So you would put 10 bits and you said Triforce something... It was like... It was something to indicate that you were working towards it. It was very adorable. I was talking about it recently. Progression. Triforce progression bits. Or Triforce progression... It was so cute, and I loved it so much, and it's the reason that forever and ever and ever I will never move Triforce from the position that it's in. Because <laughs> it's just too cute. Yes, okay, I get it. You want to play with this, but you're... That it's a who. Yes, because you did the tri Triforce progression, every single time that I streamed, Boomy would come in and put in the 10 bits, which as you all know is 10 cents. 10 cents and call it Triforce Progression, just like first thing. I'd start the stream and Boomy would just jump in and just go Triforce Progression, 10 bits. And it was delightful. And so forever I'm like, Boomy earned this in the most adorable and memorable way. I will never move the Triforce emote from its spot as the 1000 bits or wherever it is. Um, spot forever. Hello, Daito. I was thinking for a while, but can't decide my uh, favorite non -S song. You should check out, have you checked out the, the list that we already have? It's not complete because I, I, I brought up this conversation yesterday and a lot of things were brought up and I wasn't able to f capture the full history and I wanted to not delay my stream today. But also welcome, hello. Um, so yeah, so the, so the current list is na na, -na uh, yeah, you do the, the na na na. Cat, stop it. Stop it. Stop attacking. That's my foot. Na, 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 na. Hey, Jude. Look at that. Take a sad song and make it better. Why are you attacking my foot? Ender, cut it out. Ender, stop it. Here, come here. I'm sorry, Moonlight. I know it's bothering you now. Ender, I can't read. You're literally, your butt is in, right in front of the chat. I can't see what people are saying. Ender. Uh, there we go. Yes, that's true. Hi, everybody. You have reached the You Silly Saf channel. It is a channel about this Triforce of Kittens. 
I, you silly sap, do tech support and interstitial content when they don't feel like entertaining. Ender is the best. I think that it would be difficult for me if I was honest not to choose Ender as my favorite kitty of the three kitties. Although, in general, it has worked very well for me to whenever I have to choose a favorite kitty to choose the one who is closest to me at the time. That tends to work well. But I have a real soft spot for Ender. I don't know how this, this toy got to me. I'm pretty sure that Ender brought it up here and just like turned it into a whole thing. Look at how cute these two boys are. They're such good boys. Hey, Jude. Nah. Just always pick the closest one. They all bite. I don't know. Moonlight doesn't exactly bite. Moonlight doesn't bite. He just steals all the food. He's... He's bad in ways that are... He's the smart one, because he seems like he's, like, the sweet, chill one, but he's, like, bad in ways that are more insidious. And there's the big, like, sort of, like, brave hunter, and Sunset is, like, very neurotic. They all have very distinct personalities and very distinct looks, which is why they're the best kitties in the world. They're an adorable triforce of kittens. Nah. Na 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 Also, Boomy, I'm really, really happy to see you. I always feel like um, I have my shit together if Boomy cares about me. <laughs> na 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 Of the three cats, somehow Ender ended up with orange cat energy. Everyone's always saying that, like, Orange cats are dumb. None of my cats are dumb. I wish any of my cats were dumb. Honestly, it would make them easier to deal with. Like, they, like all of the problems I have with my cats have to, them, have to do with them being too smart. Every fucking morning I wake up and the cats have gotten into one of these, like, um, one of the cupboards in the, in the, in the kitchen and in the cupboard, a, a sort of plastic box, which was sort of broken, but still inside the plastic box. And have every morning I wake up and there's another packet of um, instant mac and cheese that they have pulled out and like and eaten I think it's mostly Moonlight because again Moonlight is the weird Moonlight is like the chaos foodie gre gremlin I never see him at it but he loves all foods so hard so every morning and apparently when my parents were, were here, they were doing this. But like, now that they're gone, I'm doing this. Every morning I wake up and there is another packet of like um, just instant mac and cheese that is on the floor, ripped to shreds with the cheese sort of like just, the cheese sort of like eaten up, ripped to shreds. And then at some point, and then somewhere there's like a little yellow Blink-182. You should add that one, because I think, I don't know if I actually added that to the official playlist, but I know that that's one of the major ones that was added yesterday, but I know that not everything got added. The Blink-182 song. Kitty, stop it. You've added a bunch? Excellent, thank you. Oh, Ryan, now you're the best. But yeah, if anybody wants to check it out, this is where you can see what's on the Not Enough playlist. Anybody who is a subscriber like Ryan now can just go straight in and add things. Thank you very much, Ryan, now for keeping me honest. Ender, you're very frisky right now. I am a queen, and I am playing with kitties. No, I'm not a queen. I'm High King Margot. I mean, I'm High King me. I'm a king. I ain't no fucking princess. I'm a king. It makes sense to me. If I ever become, like, 
a legit streamer again, like I was sort of on my way to sort of maybe becoming, maybe I will do a Discord thing where I will share the magicians with everybody so they all understand my whole Margot thing. There we go. There you go. It's yours now. You win. It's yours. You win. Won't act my age. And of course, you can always use um, exclamation point SR and then bro drop in a um, a YouTube link to add something to the playlist. But right now, we are only accepting songs with nananas. Ooh, a triple threat. All right, this was not one that was very triple threat friendly. Also, we love you, Boomy. Wish I could give you some kind of like gift when you're here. Cause like with streamers, you can be like, here's a shout out. But I'm always so grateful when you're here. You're important to me. Can I not DIA other people? If I'm here, can I DIA other people? If I can only DIA myself. Yay. Cat, where are you going? That was weirdly but y'all, I do hope that, I mean, I imagine it is, but I do hope that the new songs, I mean, let's see if I just click through it, if there are some of the new songs. Okay, I don't think we played this one. I think I skipped it. Some of the new songs that... Ryan now I added. Either way, we'll listen to My Chemical Romance because I, I think I skipped it. I added something. Oh yeah, I added the... the... Remember the Titans thing. I do love this crown. Look how nice it is. Ha! All of the Na 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 songs. Ender's being ridiculous. Ender. Na, 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 na. Centerfold. I'm just going to leave that right there. Oh my god, so close. cute these cats are this is perfect i figured out the, the perfect thingy the only thing that i need is my my stream deck with its buttons it's many lovely buttons the fact that the male gaze and the and madonna whore complex is brought up in classic rock song and that's what centerfold is about i'm gonna i'm gonna put some real again I think that there's basically no way that I'm not going to um, account for. So, I mean, that's the thing. As long as I can stay this fixated, the only thing that could distract me is that I have my Disney World vacation coming up. Yes, I did it. In sub 30 days. Cat. Oh my god, why are you being such a thing?
Also, Turquoise, I fucking love you for figuring out, um, <laughs> what it's like. All right, let's, um, let's see. I think that there's some dialogue that we could totally listen to because this isn't day one anymore. Why are you being so much of a thing? I know. So you're just gonna walk around and just like collect it? I think that Ender is just like politely and selecting it. The whole thing is that he finds his childhood crush as the centerfold in a sexy magazine and how he feels conflicted seeing someone he knew as an innocent girl like this. Ooh, okay, I gotta read that. I mean, if I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna actually make the subject matter probably definitely a thing. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, no, they're, they're calling her Marie. She's not Marie, she's Marie. Different from Giles and Mari. My current bird. Okay, so Ender just stood up, walked up this, up the back, like all because of this, because he loves this, and he's still fixated on it. He walked all the way across the couch, down across around the other side's arms, and is now sort of like has back legs on the end of the arm on that side. Front legs down on the couch and still just staring at this. He's just, he's going around making a plan. Hell yeah. So toxic. Add your non -na -na songs. At the end of this scene, I'm gonna go and like pee and cat. What are you doing? Stop attacking my foot. Just attack this. Thank you, Ryuji. Thank you for warming my feet, good boys. really been grabbed by the story I hope you're ready. which is why it's been working for me to do the na na it is a good loading screen though all right let's hey cat no stop it all right it is it is a good time to do the pause and the re-upping of the ad break and peeing because i'm squirming As soon as this is done. Okay. Oh shit! Do I get to battle her? Cool. Perfect time then.
Sapphic in the morning! Oh shit, I'm so sorry, did it pause? Uh, or did I pause it and forget to play? I just really needed to pee, I'm so sorry. I'm supposed- I, I meant to have the music continuing while I was gone. I'm very sorry, and all the cats are gone now. Yeah, everything is the worst. It's okay though. Everything is also fine. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. And this cat is still being very- here, look. He's just like, he wants to play foot under... He, he just wants to play foot under blanket. So you know what? He can play foot under blanket. And you can see him from a from an unusual perspective. You can see him from behind his head looking at the foot that he is so fascinated with. Foot under blanket, foot under blanket, foot under blanket, foot. The foot is under the blanket, the foot is under the blanket. There he is, yes, that's it, you got it. You got your foot, you got the foot, you got the foot prize. You love the foot prize, yay. Good boy. Yay! All right, let's let's continue. Who's a good ender? Who's a good ender? He will eventually collect this because this is his favorite toy in the world, and he brought it up here. All right, let's choose this squad. I wonder if I have to like stop and restart the thing to note to to recognize all of your let's do that just to be safe let's refresh let's see if stop it do not play things i just want to I just want to jump through them real quick. Because so far I don't see any new ones. Stop it. It's got to be a way to force refresh it. I want to add all these new things. Reload. Added by... There we go, there's yours. Wait, you added One Direction, Pink, Blink-182, Rihanna, Michael Jackson, and the Beach Boys. Okay. Nice. Very excellent choices. I really appreciate them. Damn, you're great. I bet I could force it just by going into my settings and re-adding my backup playlist. Maybe? Stop it, cats. Ender is being so incredibly zoomy. Just on his own. Ha! No! Okay, that was my own fault. All right, let's take a look at some of the music. No, stop it. Come on, give me one new thing. You know what? Fuck it, let's just do... No, we're gonna do this one because it's the one that Turquoise was talking about and I wanna actually listen to it for the lyrics this time.
All right. Well, hopefully we'll get lucky and either get and get cats in the rest of this frame. Ah! Jesus! No cats! Not like that! Oh, for fuck's sake, cats! Ah, oh, for fuck's sake! Thank you, Boomy. That is correct. All right. How did you even do that? Uh. All right. There will need to be... <sighs> there will clearly need to be a thing when I introduce Saf Bingo finally for like, cats move the camera, right? Thank you, Boomy. Did that actually work? Is it clip or is it clip it? I realized that I'll have to actually go back. This is gonna make a bullshit clip. Ah, oh, no. Oh, you're doing it manually, thank you. Oh, you're the best. Oh no! I made a bullshit one! Fuck! Damn it! No! Alright, I'm gonna have to delete the one that I made. Alright, thank you! You're the best! I need to delete this bullshit one that I just made, just to check which one was the actual- So clip it is the actual make a clip thing. Not that it matters in terms of like, you didn't think that you did a thing and then didn't- You're just awesome, and you did exactly what you were meaning to do. Damn it. That was dumb. That was so dumb. I did such a dumb. Delete this, delete this before it comes up on someone's Essa at like shout out and I get so mad. Na 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 na. Yay. Boomy, you're the best. Do you have a favorite na 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 song? Na 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 Hi Moonlight! You're throwing out my- I could, I should, I will, I'll do it. <laughs> you know, it's it's extremely easy to do, I don't- I don't know why I haven't- I think it just- it doesn't come up that much! People don't clip me! I don't get clipped very often, honestly. No, no, no. All right, let's look at clip it. Yeah, no, I can just add clip. There we go. Na 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 na, hey hey hey, goodbye. There. I don't know why I've never done it before. I think it's honestly for the reason that I just said, which is that it... Just... I just don't get clipped that often. <laughs> That's fair, Boomy. Well... Do I have both playing right now? That's garbage. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Let me at least start that one over. I'm so sorry. I didn't realize both songs were playing on top of each other. Oh god, that was been horrible. Na 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 na. Hey hey hey. Goodbye. On Morgana Ryuji. Maybe. I think I gave Ryoji something good. You have regenerate. Fuck it. I mean, I'm making it through this game fine without trying that hard. It's going great. 
I can handle multiple oral stimuli. Spent spent four years practicing oral. Like, okay, sorry, aura, oral, oral. Hang on, a u r a l. Is that audio? Lee, is that oral in terms of audio? That must be because I was just I was just apologizing for having two tracks. Okay, audio. All right, that that yay. Thank you. Clearly, I still feel bad. All right. Do I need to velvet room a little? I'm on. Okay, that's mission twenty two. Goodbye. I think I am going to now that we're doing this again. Play the the clip from. Remember the Titans with um with Ain't No Mountain High Enough. Not because there's I am remotely justified in doing so, but because I can do whatever I want and I want to. It's one of my favorite things about my Twitch channel. I get to do whatever I want. Y'all, it's awesome. There are like no one else's authority or rules that I have to follow. I can just do things that I feel like it. And it's fun until I realize that there are people who actually think that way and run, like, their companies and shit that way. And that sucks. Thank you, Boomy. You're the best in the world. And I'm back and I'm so glad that you're here when I have this level of saf backness because I had to get all of the elements of my life in order. You have no idea. There are bits I won't talk about because they're personal. Um, and there are bits that I will talk about, which had to do with like moving away from the home in which I was abused and throwing away all the furniture, which had actual marks on it from me being unable to move because I was abused and all that shit. And it was a whole thing. And there were like a billion things that happened since August that were, that I didn't expect was going to happen from August. So between August and December, I moved house. A bunch of relationship stuff happened. I... I got, I, I got COVID and laryngitis. I had a horrible experience at my current job. I left that job and got a new job, which is amazing. And my parents came to visit from the opposite coast. And they got here one day after my start date at my new job. And I had my burlesque debut. It's been a crazy, like... August to now has been nuts. August to like end of November has been nuts. But I finally have my shit together. And I feel great. I feel saffish again, which is great because it, like August to November is August, September, October, November, four months. Oh my God, that is a third of a year. A third of a year that I didn't feel like myself slash my best self and it sucked. Nope, nope, nope. We're pausing. We're pausing because I get to do whatever I want. A thing that remembering was useful for me. Even though there's a whole bunch of scene here. Fuck it. I want to watch it. And we're going to watch it because I feel like watching it. And there's Turk right there. Is this the one with the you're from California? I think it is. Oh my god, I think this is it. I'm just doing fusions over here, it's boring. Jesus.
Someone's just like, fuck it. I'm sorry, who the fuck is that? Wait a second. I'm sorry, that just really looked like Ryan Gosling and I need to know if it was. Who is that guy? Does he not look like Ryan Gosling? Is that not distracting anybody else? Ain't no mountain high enough. Ain't no mountain low enough. Ain't no river wide enough. Keep me from... It looks... There it is! The kiss! That is the first, like, boy-on-boy -boy kiss I, I remember seeing in, like, my life in a real thing. And I remember it fucking breaking my brain. And it's a Disney movie and all this shit. They removed it when they started to play it on the Disney Channel. Because I was, like, I sort of watched it, like, sort of expecting to see it. Because it was shocking. And, and the thing is, it wasn't particularly negative, negativized, especially for the time. See, I just, I, this is a, this was a formative scene for me. It was Ryan Gosling. That's Ryan Gosling right now. Jesus. That, okay, sorry. That, that scene wins for 10,000 reasons. And we're gonna, oh my God, Will Smith being Will Smithy. All right, cool. We're gonna totally Will Smith. We're gonna Will Smith with you. Just, we just need to sit and talk for, about that scene for a second. First off. Just the number of people in that scene. And that being Ryan Gosling, thank you for checking. It was Ryan Gosling. I also just watched Blade Runner, Blade Runner 2049. I got the numbers right. I didn't say whatever. I don't know. I keep saying, I don't know. I keep saying various numbers after Blade Runner or Cyberpunk or whatever. Just 20 some numbers and things. But anyway. So. That scene actually was, like, big for me. It stayed with me for years because that dude, the gay kid, first off, I'd never seen a gay kid in a movie, and it was a Disney 2048. Is where you just push powers of two around. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the whole bit about guys singing in the locker room, that should be what boys will be boys mean. Thank you, Turquoise. Yes, we, I'm, I hope we have created a generation of boys in the in the Zillennials that like that's what that means. But yeah, so the that scene, the whole thing with the gay kid who like the the euphemism that they used was he's from California, and this is and this takes place in 1972. And I was a child. This was before Brokeback Mountain. To me, Brokeback Mountain is the like the dividing line. Where I, like, and now that I know that I'm a lesbian and stuff, I know why this was hitting me so hard. But, like, I just, like, all queer media, queer literature, all this shit, like, hit me very hard. It was almost always about affluent white men. I now understand that it was just, like, the proxy that I had to understand various things about the way that I felt about various things. But that specific scene... And remember the Titans, a Disney film that was supposed to be children appropriate. And like, I saw that scene and it, it never went away from me because the way that he handled being hassled was to kiss someone and then just kind of be like, deal with it. It never... It never left me. It's powerful. It's so powerful. It was one of the first, first of all, it was one of the first like gay kisses I'd ever seen. But more to the point, the fact that the way that it was handled, the way that it was addressed, the way it was dealt with, there was no shame. There was no shame from the writing and there was no shame in the execution. And there was no shame, more importantly, from the character. The character was ready for it had no shame in who he was, and was ready to fight back, and the weapon he used was to kiss a guy. And otherwise not, like, he he used a non-masculine, like, a non-masculine coded way to fight back. I've, n this is, this scene has never gone away from me. It's just, 
it's been a thing that I've used in my life, not usually for this specific problem, but for other things where like when somebody is sort of trying to diminish me for a thing that they are accusing me of being, to sort of double down on being that thing and then sort of putting it in their face and making them respond. I, it's actually a genius way to deal with a, with a certain type of bullying, with enormous type, with many types of bullying. And it never went away from me. I just, I think it's amazing. I'm so glad that I was literally just trying to play some whatever, like I wanted to play the, the them singing Ain't No Mountain High Enough. And it turned out to have the piece of the scene that I remembered so hard. The bit where he fought back by kissing someone. Which also happens in, like, in a less overtly important, what, funny way in, um... Parks and Recreation, but whatever. I'm going to put the music back on. We're going to listen to some Getting Jiggy With It as if I wasn't just like doing a whole personal thing that I don't think, I don't know. Who cares if it landed? It didn't matter. It's true. That's what matters. Getting Jiggy With It. Donna. This cat always throws the white balance off in my <laughs> scenes. Why must you do this, kitten? None of my other kittens are here helping. Just moonlight. I wonder what it's going to take to definitely get the new stuff into the queue. Let me know if you see any of the songs that you added show up in the queue. I'm not sure what I need to refresh. There should be no relationship to OBS. It should just have to be with um, stream elements. I know. No, I'm with you. Feel free to just like add them with SR with song request if you want to just like toss them in. You're a good boy, Moonlight. I'm so glad I get to be a queen tonight. I mean a king. Hi, king. Na 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 na. Getting jiggy with it. This is also just like, I think this is another reason why I have so much respect. All right. Good one. Come on. Come on. This is absolutely going to place. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on. Also, everyone in, like, the King community, like, we couldn't help but, like, love and feel seen by the song, even though it's obviously a complete appropriation. It's not, like, particularly sincere or real. Who cares? It's still fun. It's still fun to hear whips and change excite me. I don't know. I think it's sort of similar to like how Japan was totally cool with Harajuku girls. Cause yeah, it's cool to be acknowledged for existing. <gasps> oh my god, wait! Turquoise, are you there? Did you see the Marvels? Because you don't understand how much I love it. Oh no, it's fantastic! I love this song. It's fantastic, it's so good. Break my bones, but whips and chains. Wait. Wrong line. Come on. It's in a fantastic pop song that also is about our universe. So, because I was not aware of the timeline of these things and, and not on top of all of this stuff, I did not have that experience. I just have this song in a vacuum. But fair. 
I think that's really reasonable. But Turquoise, did you see the Marvels? And did you see Miss Marvel? And just, okay, just because, like, as you and I know, like, um, specifically, uh, Never Have I Ever is you, and Miss Marvel is me. Then whips excite me. Come on, come on. Turquoise, it was amazing. It was so fucking good. It was so good. The Marvel is my favorite, my favorite MCU movie in, like, fucking forever, in ages. Come on, come on. And in general, so I I totally have it that I'm going to do an MCU uh, tier list probably soon. But And it's going to be incredibly spicy because the thing is, I have never reacted to the MCU the way that other people do. And it's going to be crazy. It's going to be so insane. It's going to look nothing like your average... Yeah, no. Because, like, my response to a lot of MCU stuff is just almost opposite of what everyone else's is. I can't... I don't know. I'm now invested enough in this that I'm probably going to make a whole thing out of the MCU. Thank you, Ryan. Break mom. Turquoise, please do let me know um, if and when you're going to come and stay with me and what you'd like to do or how you might make it a thing because I want to make a whole big thing of it. I really do. I want to, yeah. We'll talk. Then whip six, I may come out. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. As much as I love this song, I think it's gonna lose something for having, for resting a lot of its not an energy on the come ons. Come on, excellent! Yay, turquoise! I can't wait. I totally forgot where the nananas are. I think they are there, but I, I keep forgetting. There we go, all the small things. Of course you did. I love that you're getting to know me, Ryan, now. I know that we're figuring out what we're doing. I do really love the after dark small things. Oh my god, best trip though. Not my show. You know what? Maybe I can just wait. And so I will not go. So carry me home. Na 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 Wait, who's the currently equipped? Oh, yeah, just Yaxony. Alright. Extra speed is pretty rad in this game. I know a thief roses by the stairs. Just let me know she cares. I will not go. Carry me home. Are there na na na's in what makes you beautiful? Someone confirm because that song makes me crazy. Okay, fair enough. As long as there's na na na's. Say it ain't so, I will not go. Turn the lights off, carry me home. Na 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 <laughs> that's fair we were talking about it earlier also because apparently um 
Actually, let's just just combine those two. Because, um... Well, fuck yeah. Because, uh... Misinterpreted Turk and thought she was like, dude, it's okay. Um, it's fine. Um... All that matters is that it has a na na na. And she's disavowing responsibility, which is fair. Absolutely. You know what? We'll have a fun we'll have a fun saff rant about why why this song makes me crazy. It's okay. I totally believe that you misunderstood. I fully believe that you misunderstood. Where's I do love pink. Why is pink so great? Chikototen? Nigi? Oh, Invigorate. There's an Invigorate. <gasps> Both are good. Tarukaja and Invigorate. Ooh, but if I do this one, it'll be... Okay, let's do that. It's fine. I totally believe it was a misunderstanding. And we'll have a great, we'll have a great classic Saf rant about that song when it comes on. It'll be awesome. And I'll know that I'm not offending anybody who put a song on my list. Why do I like Pink so much? I think she just seems like my type. And she clearly wrote some songs that Adam Lambert ended up putting on his albums because they weren't working for her or something. You know, that stuff. Musician stuff. I don't know anything about music. Shut up. <laughs> Ryuji. All right. You do Jika Teten, and then Ryuji can do anybody else. Leonin. Fuck it. Do Leonin. Perfect. Everyone has someone we can go on. Also, thank you so much, Ryda. You're doing so much administration for me. It means a lot. Because you're adding all these songs for me. Now I don't have to worry that I'm going to miss them. Absolutely need to do a save. There we go. Level 25. Win condition details. Wait, none? Just defeat Marie. Alrighty. So I'm assuming this is gonna be very tough. Cause all I have to do is defeat Marie. How far into the game am I? I never know about games like this. I usually play like incredibly long games that go on forever. Oh, right, you can go f way further. Ba -da 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 -da. Yeah, I don't think it counts if it's at the back, but I'm not sure. I think it does count if it's at the side, though. Fuck it, let's just be safe. This seems to be a pretty big bad boss because there are no win conditions apart from winning, which is terrifying. Pretty young thing. I chased all of them off and I already have two of them back. Look at them. Look how good they are. The fuck? The bouquet from Marie smells like trouble. We should get some distance and see what it does. Okay, it's probably going to explode or something. Yeah, there's usually win conditions, so that means that this is probably going to be very tough. It just says defeat Marie. That's the whole condition. No in a specific amount of time or nobody goes down or whatever. Which means it'll probably... Yeah, I just have to defeat her. As opposed to the win conditions usually for other battles are like... Do it in a certain number of turns or whatever in order to get, like, the bonuses. If there are no other win conditions, that means that this battle's probably going to be pretty hard.
Also, I'm very excited to plan your trip. I think that like if you want to make like if we if we want to make like a thing of it, if we do like two to three days or something, I just want you to know how open to it I am. If we did like two to three days, we could make it a thing that I think that we would really feel was like a thing. You know what I mean? We make an event out of it. Not to spoil things they're going to throw at you. Uh, yeah, but win conditions, sorry, in this game, uh, what I mean by win con victory conditions are like things that get you extra bonuses. So you can win without the win conditions. Oh my god, good, turquoise. So I'm totally open to like putting things, uh, uh, to doing things such that this can be a thing. Like we can do many days. Um, we, yes, no, it will be, we'll make it a thing. It'll be, it'll be sleepover, sleepover, girl time, bonding, crazy bullshit. I will not do other things. We're going to make it a thing. I'm invested. I totally want to do that. You and I have the same sensibilities about this. I don't even have to explain it to you. I just want to confirm. Okay, whatever this is. Oh, God, it has a bunch of health. Oh, no, there's a bunch of them. Okay, let's stay out of... The realm of all of it. Jesus, you have a lot of health. No wonder. Oh my god, 2400 health is a lot of health. Let's stay the fuck out of all of that. I bet if we don't defeat it in the time allotted, it'll like explode or something. Like, very badly. Yikes. No, I want it to be one of those things where we have so much, like, free time that we're like, what should we do? And we end up just, like, doing and watching things that we don't expect that we would do. Okay, apparently that is nothing somehow. Hooray, I'm so glad that we're on the same page. Darling turquoise. Okay, that does not appear to... All right, here we are. We're at What Makes You Beautiful. Okay. Okay, so it's... So the first line is that you're insecure. Good information. So you know that that's what this is. Flipping hair. Smiling. Please do point out the na-na-na's in case I don't notice them for rage. There it is. You're right. 
You're right. I'm going to enjoy ranking this. Yay. Na, 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 na. There, it's nine. You're right, it's nine. There's the Nas. I'm going to enjoy ranking this one. I'm going to have so much. And here's the thing. Genuinely and honestly. I don't fucking even hold this against One Direction or whatever the fuck. They don't mean anything by this fucking song. It's just a goddamn fucking pop song. It's not about them. It's not about them. It's about the fact that culture was fine with this. Some songwriters put this shit in front of them. You're right. More every na is fewer lyrics. This is, these are the most offensive lyrics ever. Jesus. I, the thing is, it's like, oh God, like, I already was just on principle upset at the concept of this fetishization of women who, like, the thing that you are saying is that what you're attracted to is that they are dumb enough not to be able to pattern match beauty standards to what is in the mirror, which is an insane thing to actually like about someone. And that is just insecurity, damage, etc. And, like, I didn't even realize that this song, which I thought the most offensive thing was just the things that I was vaguely aware of from the radio, which is just like, you don't know you're beautiful, that's what makes you beautiful, which I thought was dumb. It starts with you're insecure. It knows. It knows the problem. And it still, it still says it's attractive. Jesus Christ. So fucked up. Ah! All right. That finally, I, all the dancing, the cats are like, why are you upset? Why are you upset? It's because, it's because of culture making it an attractive quality in a woman to be dumb enough to not be able to pattern match beauty standards to what she looks like in the mirror. It's fucking stupid. And to find it attractive that a woman is not self-assured or, or that a woman has some kind of insecurity rather than wanting to just, oh God. Carry me up. All right. One of the things is going to be content. One of the things is going to be content. If I end up doing this in the way where I actually like do various metrics that I that I grade each song along, iconicness will be one of them. Sing alongness. Content slash thematic slash meeting that's gonna be something I, I think I might just put that as like a maybe I won't even put that as a plus thing I'll put it as only a thing that you can have a demerit in if you need it we'll see we'll see I'm very curious to see if I stay invested in this project enough to do my whole like fixation level project thing I probably should because it's not like kit fest is sort of on hold right now and I usually start planning KitFest around January, and it's not far from January. Right now, KitFest is on hold, which does not mean that KitFest won't happen, because KitFest happens in August. But since I usually plan it in January, right now I need another thing to give a fuck about. I think this project could be that thing. Batman! Okay, so I have to do the other things. Not spirit, not commitment, not focus. Okay, do I have to get, what's the issue? Do I have to get you from the front? Do I have to get, the flowers are gone. Yeah, what's the issue here? Is it on hold for a particular reason? Oh yeah, it is on hold for a particular reason, which is that some stuff got a little bit wonky um, in terms of, so, Unsurprisingly, it is a very tricky thing emotion logistically, but more importantly, there's like what's the word? 
imagine the concept of emotional logistics. There are emotional logistics to Kitfest. What happens if I do Garu? Will it just not hit you at all? Okay, it does. Just not much. Um, and uh, because of some of the emotional logistics of Kitfest, um, and various things that sort of made it unclear if those emotional logistics can't, could be honored, we've had to put it on hold officially. However, based on sort of the trajectory of things having to do since this stuff came up, I believe that it's unlikely that it won't Exploding. Wow, we're back to this. Does that mean that I successfully, yes, and then here's PYT. Does that mean that we have successfully added songs that you added? Cause this is from the back, the last two are from the backup playlist. I think we have successfully refreshed it to add the things that you added, which makes me very happy. But yeah, basically um, there are a bunch of like sort of, um, emotional logistics that uh, me and Kit have a, a what's it called, a, a, a division of labor with Kitfest. And things got a little bit crazy last year. Um, and we had to like officially put it on hold until we could make sure that some of those emotional logistics could be um, uh, honored. I think that based on the trajectory that it will be, so I think it's not going to really make a big difference. But it does mean that while I usually get to start thinking about it now, I kind of can't because I have, to, I have to do other things while I wait for those things to be sorted. Yeah. I, I think that the directory, personally, and by all means, Kit, please do jump in. It's, it's more up to you, honestly, than anybody else and jump in and say if there's anything else. But basically my understanding is that I think that the trajectory is good that considering it's no, it's December and we have roughly in some ways until August, roughly. I think that the trajectory is such that I think that we'll be able to still do Kit Fest on schedule next year. If it's not on schedule, it'll be off schedule. And if it's not off schedule, it'll be we we'll skip one year and we do it again the, the year before after. I would never, ever, ever want to give up Kit Fest forever. It's just that we need to make sure that we're being responsible about how we're throwing it. And those things mean that we need to be extremely scrupulous about making sure that Kit is in the right place for it, that I am in the right place for it. Um, and obviously that that is what is contingent upon allowing everybody who who attends to be a, like protected. I'm glad you understand that. Got to take a step back, make sure that we're doing it properly or or that we are able to uh do our own parts in um making sure that it is being done. That th make sure that we are in a place to be able to handle our own roles in making it successful. I think you might be kit uh, combining it a little bit with Dragon Con. Dragon Con, that's a slightly different thing in terms of making sure that we're doing it properly. That one I think has more to do with its with the Dragon Con crowd not being from here and from our culture of these types of things, and we need to sort of like we need to recalibrate it to make sure that it is tailored to that actual audience. I think that the audience for Kitfest was fine. I don't think there's any issue with the audience for Kitfest. I think with, for the Kitfest specifically, it's just about making sure that you and me are in a good place of understanding what we need to have, uh, ha the ways in which we need to have our shit together to be able to run it uh, successfully and responsibly. Which I do think, like I said, that will probably will. I don't think it's likely that it's going to be canceled this year. Take a sad song and yeah, make it better. Mm -hmm. We will start to make it better. 
collar of matrimony became the fixed target. Oof. Deadly bouquet toss. And get... It seems like these are just bombs. Marie's got nothing but you in her sights. Think you can find a way to lure her to the bouquets. Oh, okay. So if we use... We're going to send him back right. Okay, so I need to use her to get... All right, so if I place her in a play that lures her... Towards the bouquet? Was I supposed to shoot the bouquet or just... Do they not explode? I'm not really sure how the bouquets work. Now come and get her. Into your heart. To make it bad. Shit. Okay, not so bad. All right, so I was trying to lure her in. I failed. <laughs> All right, this isn't so bad. Like I'm I'm doing decent chip damage. Na, 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 na. No, 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 no. Sad song, it yeah, make it better. Remember to let it into your skin, and you begin to make it. All right, so now she's got Mona. Na, na, na. All right, so I've got to find a way. Ooh, yay. Thank you, Fadaba. Na, 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 na. So will standing here actually work? Na, 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 hate you. Does shooting it activate it or not? Fuck it. Let's assume it does. Wait, what's Femme Fatale? Summons a unit to inflict medium damage to target allows additional following action. That should be good. Hey, Jude. Na, 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 na. Oh, well, aren't you doing better than expected? Ooh, yay. Hang on. Oh, dang. I clicked through too fast. Oh, no. Na, 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 na. Let's maybe listen to a little bit of this. She's confident for a reason. Don't get too close to her. All right, that's funny. Nah. Oh shit, we got replaced. So I guess we did good enough to... All righty. Na, 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 na
na na na na na na na na na na na all right well let's find out if this is going to kick my ass oh good oh good don't stray now you won't feel a thing when you're nothing but a stain on my on the ground does she seriously plan to ram me with that thing if you get hit there'll be nothing left everyone get out of the way okay we're all, i think already out of the way Except for, all right, On needs to get out of the way. There we go. All right, I feel like just shooting her is probably fine. But let me get you also there. Damn, Rita. Yeah, let's just shoot you. 43, not bad. It's not quite 47, but it's not bad. No. I have not even upgraded Mona's bloodstained dial, upgraded Mona's thing at all. Oh, shit. Let me see you run for your lives. Let's see what else we got. feel like putting on next yeah we haven't listened to this one yet the the very very marginal one the one that's probably not going to, oh wow and i only have 38 seconds left until uh the pre-rolls go off so this is perfect before i do this turn i'll put on more um ads for We'll take off the pre-rolls, and I can make another drink, because this one is done. See how done it is? And see how good these kitties are. I'm jealous of Kit's clips, so we should just play some clips while I'm gone. No, we're not going to play clips because we're playing Na 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 songs. Alright. I guess that's... All right, my commitment to the bit means that there will not be clips. There will be na 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 songs. Oh, for fuck's sake, you finished the, the, you finished the crossword. Of course you finished the crossword. Whenever Ryan now and Turquoise Dog are here, they finish the crossword. I'm going to put up another crossword first. Then we'll do the thingy. Of course you finished the crossword. More crosswords. Aw, good kitty. Hey, look, that's even better. It means that other people get a chance to do the new crossword. You don't get to say that you get to, you don't get to say that the crossword can sit. Yo, crossword sits when I say it sits. And it's not now. Oh, wow, that was cute, kitten.
All right. I'm like suddenly hungry. Nah, it's fine. All right. No. No. You know what? No. The game is still tempting. Back to the game. Yay. Wait. Okay. No. My drink is still there. Perfect. Here's my drink. It's right here. Yeah. That's perfect. That is perfect. Damn, that's good. I like it. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Okay, this one's winning some points for this. All right, so we have to stay out of this yellow range. Let's, yeah, let's start with you. Yeah, I don't think she can reach any other. Okay, it's fine. I don't think she has a place that she can reach that's safe. He, fine. All right, let's just end the turn. Please do add your own songs, though. Especially because I know that I have some missing. They will interrupt whatever's going on. We're totally at the point of doing uh, repeats. So please add your own nananas. I know we're missing stuff. Such a good one. Ugh, that could be good though. Oh, I'm so sorry. You could probably hear the things through the microphone, my phone, that I was I was watching Kit's stream. Whoops. My mistake. Hello, Ender. Ender is stalking up towards me. All right, there appears to be no way for me to get closer with you and still have some cover. So just hang out there. All right, some rich girl, I'm down. I think some of this will be, cause there's gonna be repeats for me. People are gonna get a lot of credit for adding things that are not there. But also the ones that I don't skip. That's gonna help me choose. Ender, you are being such a thing. Oh, that's an interesting pattern. Quit dodging! Gah! If she keeps up like this, it's gonna be bad. There has to be some way to stop her. Florina! 
I know you love the cats. There be a cat here. There been much catness today. Ender. I mean, Ender, this is your toy, and you just re you refuse to be manipulated, don't you? Valerina, how are you? It's good to see you. I totally had the thought that, like, when I have my shit together again, Fullerina will be showing up. That was, like, a total thought that I actually had. Do you have any Na 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 songs that you want to add? Whatever your favorite Na 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 songs is, just add it to the song quests. Running in the world, if I were wealthy, go. If I was a wealthy girl. Anyway, Ryan, try not to do any hello. Hello, sunset. Good boy. Ryan Turquoise, try, see if you can manage, it's not a hard, fast rule, but see if you can manage to not do the crossword unless it's actually up on the screen. Again, not a hard, fast rule. You have any news, Fullerene, anything you wanna share? I want to catch up with you. I mean, I know, like, I've been off forever. I've been not myself, but I think I'm myself again. I think I have retrieved myself from the depths. So apparently Marie is blind with Fiore. Fiore! Run right into her own bouquets. I get it. That's the thing. Now, I don't apologize. I'm actually really delighted because I'm always really sad at how much I have to uh, keep my same crosswords up for too long and then I like they're not done and I have to replace them. I honestly am really delighted. You, yesterday was the first finished crossword I've had in ages and I was delighted. So I'm actually really pleased. You could... No. No. Turquoise, Ryan, I'm teasing you. I actually love when my when my crosswords get done. It's like one of the things that tells me that my stream is working is if the crosswords get done. Like, and and yeah, like I have just, look, you were at my first, maybe first, second stream in my like, okay, all of my shit is together. I'm not just sort of like, yeah, okay, wow, that was quite a hop sunset. That was impressive of like okay i have my shit together and i'm ready to like start actually streaming again i've moved my laryngitis is gone my quite shitty covid is gone i got rid of my shitty job and i got a new one that is amazing i started that job and my parents my parents came to visit and they have left everything is fantastic i but like it was a lot of things and then i had my personal stuff like tons of things i got them all all sorted my God, I had COVID. I was I was actually like contagious COVID when I had to return my keys at my old place is how inconveniently a bunch of the timing worked out. Although because I believe in my chaos luck field, I'm quite certain that all of the things that went down more or less inconsequentially from August through uh, October had to do with uh, just setting the universe up so that I could get this amazing job, which for the first time ever submitted itself to the, hold on, the Human Rights Commission. Let me read the thingy. Na, 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 na. The, the Human Rights Campaign Corporate Equality Index. So my company participated for the first time ever this year. Uh, nation's foremost benchmarking survey and report measuring corporate policies and practices related to LGBTQ plus workplace equality. And we got a score of 95 out of 100 on our first ever attempt. And that 
totally fits with my experience of being there and I love it so much. I love everything about there. Like I went to the um the holiday party in San Francisco and um I don't remember everything about the conversation that led to this because it was really close to the end. Um, but the next day, I was on a private Slack channel for uh, ethical non-monogamy <laughs> at my company. And it was awesome. Just, my company is amazing. And, like, those are just little personal things. Other things about it, like, very much more professional things that are amazing about it. Just, I love it so much. They... I feel so respected and taken seriously and just a thousand things. I'm going to skip this song because I feel like I just sang it recently. It's so good. Apart from the fact that like just people respect me as a subject matter expert and are just so great. I can't, ugh, I cannot say enough good things about the experience that I've been having at my new company. And granted, I know that I can't get too into it because I've only been there since November 29th. But still. I've never had a better onboarding experience where they actually explained every, like, really in meaningful way everything about what the company does, how it does it, the finances, the, like, the models. And I was like, oh my god. God, you're actually so transparent about this stuff. That's so refreshing that I understand how you make money. To say nothing of the fact that it's actually, and like, this is, oh, wow. Okay, so you're just going to follow me. I get it. Oh, shit. Am I like unable to fully, oh, no, here we go. Oh wow, so you're just gonna follow. Um. I was gonna say a thing about a thing. About my new job. My. Oh, I get it. You're supposed to attract him into going. Oh, I get it now. Right, we're right. They kept telling me this and I was not paying attention, honestly. So, like, that you were supposed to go towards the thing and get exploded. Does it work? Did it work? Did I explode at you? Not quite. Maybe? Okay. So I'm supposed to use the the bait person. Oh my god. She 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 boxed me in? How did I get boxed in? How's that fair? Alright, I forget what I was talking about, but this is a really yummy drink. And the boys have finally discovered that they can use the uh, tree ornaments as cat toys. So they've removed about two or three ornaments today, and they hadn't in any of the nights before. So now they've discovered it. That's new. Yep, there he goes. Don't eat it. Just don't eat it. You're allowed to knock over ornaments. Just don't eat the thing. Yes, the nananas, the greatest nananas. A 
going to skip this one now. I just want to see what other ones I have on the list. Oh, this one's fun. Frank Zappa, My Chemical Romance, Gwen Stefani, Now United. Replay. I'll listen to Replay. I don't think I haven't heard of this in a bit. This one gets credit for the meta, because I love metas. Hey, cats! But my kingdom for somebody who has an addition. Wait, where's my crown? Where'd I put my crown? Where'd my crown go? I had a crown. I was a kike. I was a king. Every day. Every. Na 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 na. Every day. All right, sunset. I have no memory of taking off my crown and putting it somewhere because ADHD. Okay, so I'm now, I now have some more, but. Can I just like attack you directly like this? Fuck it. Hi. Every day. All right, I feel like I'm getting close. Deals medium damage. Sweeps away targets. Hell yes, it's the first time I've done Mona's. All right, I think I'm doing well. I think I'm doing good damage. I don't think my zeal is that impressive. Na 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 na. My head. Na 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 na. I might have a have a category for like, just specifically the quality of the nananas on their own. Oh God, this is good though. Na 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 na. All right, let's see what we've got. Actually, I haven't heard this one enough. The journey. And I do feel like I am headed towards the Mare defeat decently well. Squeeze in. 26, yeah. Your Agi Lao will do some real damage, right? Yeah, 86, hell yes. It's so interesting that this is Journey, because this feels like a different genre than a lot of the like most famous journey songs but it's like not because like this sort of sounds like what we call adult contemporary just because we don't want to call it rock even though journey basically is rock 
I just want to play some rumors now. Just because I get to do whatever I want. Cat, stop! <laughs> So, my, my dream sort of, like, thing that I wanted... Okay, so, there is this game. There's this DJing game where you can just, like, fuck with it. And, okay, for varying reasons, even though I own it, I don't... I Like, the, the, the thing got discontinued. Okay, there's so many things. I just, I can't... There's lots of things, but basically what it comes down to is that I can only create and listen to and vibe into my ideal song at Kit's place on their Steam account on this DJing game where they, he was able to get Jolene and Dreams because the game was then not was discontinued and you couldn't download those additional things so even though i have the game i don't have the additional songs and i can't do the thing because there is a perfect combination of dreams and jolene that is my favorite song in the world that i haven't made yet okay doesn't sound like it could be uh them is journey of the sorcerer <gasps> wait hold on florina Journey of the Sorcerer? Journey of the Sorcerer? I'm sorry. Journey of the Sorcerer? Okay. I don't think you know how much I love this song. Oh my god. It's from, because it's, uh, it's from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy and it's the most amazing thing ever. It's fucking beautiful. It's one of my favorite tracks of all time. Full Arena, I love you so hard. Journey of the Sorcerer! No, it doesn't. Kit, there are no Nas. There are no Nas. We just, we just decided, fuck it, we love Journey of the Sorcerer is what just happened. There was just a moment where Full Arena was just like, it doesn't have none of Nas, I just love this song. And then I was like, <gasps> Full Arena, you have no idea how big a deal this is to me. You don't know how much I love this track. Da da da, ba 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 da 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 I am talking about Fuser. I don't think of it as a mashup game, but yes. So, because of the way that they were discontinued in X, Y, and Z, various ways, blah, 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 turns out that, and it was like, right as Kit was giving it to me, it was like, on, like, between days, like, we got Jolene on, on Kit's version and couldn't get it on mine within, like, a week. It was garbage. It was annoying. But anyway, basically, there is a perfect perfect mashup of dreams and Jolene which exists in my head and infuser maybe when I'm just screwing around with it they didn't change they died turquoise they died fuse da da
Not Enough Songs is the one I like is A, A Silly Gimmick. That's allowed and Great B, Heavily Missing Off of the which is also allowed. There's one song that's on the thing that literally all of its Not Enough's come from, oh my God. All of the songs come from um, Rich Girl. So one of the songs on the on the Not Enough list. Here's the Not Enough list. That's the not on a list. One of them is just is just like all the not on's come from Rich Girl by Gwen Stefani. Look, anything with not on's is allowed. The whole point and the joy and the amazingness of this entire exercise is how much it has music from like across the genres, across the levels of respect things that people have never heard of, things that are classics. Because sort of the the standard that I put as like the 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 standard bearer is Hey Jude, but like we have the amazing we've now have the amazing story behind um hey uh na 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 hey hey kiss him goodbye which is the song um in the funeral scene from which again i didn't even realize what the hum- fu- the funeral scene of remember the titans the game doesn't work if you have to buy songs and can't unlock reliably. So yeah, no, uh, Turquoise, I wasn't even fucking playing the actual game. I just wanted to mix some songs. So I, I bought like for, I don't know, bits of nothing. I bought Jolene, my favorite, one of my favorite songs in the world. And that's and like, I was sick. I, I, here's what it is. I think it was last February and I was getting my, uh, my, my booster shot for my COVID booster and I don't know how much I, I mean, I, I've shared this. I don't know how much people who are here specifically know about this, but I have, I have to have like, I have to have time booked with kit, things set aside, whatever, for when I have my booster shot for COVID because the COVID booster shots give me like a horrible hormone imbalance. Like a horrible hormone imbalance. The COVID booster, COVID, the COVID, all of the COVID shots, all of the COVID vaccines, the the boosters, all of them. They give me a horrible. Uh, it's totally worth it, but it means that I I need some I need some care and some space and some shit for a bit. And one of the things that Kit did taking care of me was to put me down and give me fuser. <laughs> and I just like I just. For fucking hours. Like, Kit went, took a shower, came back, and I was still just doing the same Dreams and Jolene mashup over and over again. I was creating just, like, the perfect, for me, the perfect fucking track. I just... I love using violins from Call Me Maybe for everything, though, right? And so I think I was using the... Oh, God. um, Something from... Recovering from your booster too. That's amazing. Love the jams. Florina, are you a fan of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy or Douglas Adams at all? Because I've just been uh, showing Kit the the radio plays of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I'm a gigantic Douglas Adams fan. My favorite book is Last Chance to See. And my God, I should totally play. I should. Oh my God, the yes. Good job, Florina. The TARDIS! The radio plays are amazing, and you can get them on... Wait, do you mean... Wait, which short story? So... Which short story? It depends on which one you're talking about. Young Zaphod plays it safe! Yes, I have! Yes, where... Oh my god, yes, the lobsters! The lobsters! Yes! And, oh yes, I have absolutely... Because it's in... Oh god, this is good. With a Reagan. Rich Nixon? Reagan. Ooh, hey! Okay, this is awesome. This is fucking genius. Ooh. Is it? Oh, yes it is. Nixon, it was Nixon. 
Nixon makes sense. Wow. Oh my god. Oh my god! Just... <laughs> Daleks made it so... So hard to take. Doctor Who, seriously, when I tried to get into Doctor Who, and I was like, I get it, I get it, you have a legacy, but Jesus. All right, come here, kitten. Sunset, you want to come here, too? You're right there. Yeah, Doctor Who. Yeah, Doctor Who. I also recommend the band's book, the manual, How to Have a Number One the Easy Way. Wait, what? Okay, gotcha. Of the band who did the Doctor Who thing. Gotcha, gotcha. But yeah, no, um, because what, like, So Long and Thanks for All the Fish, Fish is one of my favorite books for, for, like, legitimately. How to Write a Pop Song that Hits Number One on the Charts. Awesome. That is absolutely a thing that you can uh, formulize. And yeah, it's pretty funny and pretty accurate. For sure. It's like um, there's a thing. Um, the Save the Cat, which is like the, the book about how, like, how to write a screenplay. And then ended up leaving the music industry, inviting a bunch of journalists to an island and burning a million quid. Okay, you have now gained my attention. Full Arena, do you have a link or something? Do you have something you can put on the Discord? I am now very into this. Because this sounds fucking wild. <laughs> Wait, why did it stop? Don't stop. Oh, it just ended. Oh, because you added a song. Gotcha. Thank you. You fuck it, full arena. You win. You get to do it. Because you're, you're here. You're here and you get to, and you get to do what you want because you get to do what I want. And I want you to do whatever you want. I set the rules. All right, I feel like I'm winning. Sunset, you're in the way. Just move. All right, three boys. All right, let's pause this for the moment. Damn, she's strong. If only we could stop that tank. Wait to do anything on his own. That's what makes me. 
All right. I can't see anything because there are cats in the way of all of my screens. Cats. Move. Sunset, cut it out. Ender, stop it. <laughs> oh, boys. Here, come over here. So, Ender, no. Stop it. <laughs> boys. Can I give you anything? Here. Come over here. Oh my god, do I dare? Do I dare? Do I dare? No! There's nothing. Ah. Cats! I'm gonna, I'm gonna start, see, I'm a professional, and you know what being a professional is? I'm finally a professional, which means that I have a job where the way that I goof off is by, um, cleaning up my clips on Twitch. Yep, now that I'm a real professional, I'm gonna do that just like you, Kit. I'm a grown-up professional, and I'm going to clean up my, my clips during my workday. Just like you. I bet Icarus has none of us. Oh, yay. Ha! Oh, my God! She fucking respawned! No, she was 2400 again. No, God damn it, that was zero. God damn it. Fucking second form. Fucking second form. How is that fair? It is not. And we're doing just zero damage to her. I swear to God, this had better be... This had better be a plot-related zero thingy, because, goddammit, this sucks. It might be time to actually listen to the game. <laughs> We have plenty of not and I don't think we have any new people who need to, like, add their not and Yes, yes, fine. Let's actually listen to the game for a minute. It's just like a Triforce, but being vaguely anxious. Alright, so we need to not... You got this down, Skull. Damn, Rita, to yourself, it's not like worth... Leave it to me. Perfect. Nice cover. Die for my persona. <laughs> Still zero! You've gotta be kidding me. I do not know where you're going with this game. Bloodstained Isle. Are you hurting yourself doing this or? How do I beat you? For some reason that I can't totally get my head around, this makes me want to play Final Fantasy IX. I'm not a fly! He's a fox. Uh, 
Oh, dear God. How? What? Oh, no. Oh, no, what do we see? Oh, no! How the fuck did you get there, Toshiro? Also, it's such a thing in Persona 5 to be on the rafters. Just like Ender here on the rafters. Oh, so he's actually trying to help. All right, let's play it cool. Let's do it. I'm glad that I switched back to the game audio now. Yes, cat. Yes, cat. Rar. Yes. Hell yeah. Thank you, Fataba. I still have to play. Okay, that that Persona Five Royal, which like I I loaned my thing to Kit so that Kit could do it, and Kit took a long time to do it, and then yeah, so I finally have it back. I was in the middle of other things by the time Kit was done. Wait, what is this? I'm sorry. Hang on. That's not... Hmm. What is this? Okay, I, do I need to lure her here? Is that what this is? In order to get her to... Oh my god, Ender, if you're going to chase your tail, could you please do it on camera? Alright, you're super adorable. <laughs> oh my god, there's so many cats being such a thing around me all the time right now. Cats! It's quite a cat party. Hey! He's just, he's just jumping around at everything. Did you miss it? You missed it! Oh no! Ender, come do it here! It's so cute! He keeps chasing his tail like a dog! It's very cute! Ender, come back here and chase your tail on camera! It's very cute! Show them! Show them your tail chasing! It's cute! Thank you, Ryan, now! You're the best. Look forward to hearing from you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you supporting my ridiculous na 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 crusade. And all the other things. Absolutely! I'm looking forward to hanging out. Mwah. Have the best night. Have a great time. Have a great Friday night. Have a great weekend. Have a great December. And have a great New Year holidays and life. Thank you. There was a Margo. Why was there a Margo? Did someone do a bless your heart? <laughs> I don't even know why, what it just happened. Play a random staff clip. Hohenheim! Hi! Hohenheim! I will absolutely do a random staff clip. Hang on. I'll do a couple. Oh my god, it's the... <laughs> it's the dragon one! I'm doing so good, Hohenheim. Oh, the cuteness is... Oh, this is amazing. 
I'm gonna do a couple. Last couple. Cause it's great. First. Ooh, wait. Hohenheim, I'm doing so good. And now everybody knows that doing the play random sap clip redeem always gets you more than one because I, I get all like fixated. I'm just like, sap yay, sap clips. Really weird places. <laughs> She's the best. She has, we clearly put our trust in the right person. And she has ramen all over her. It's perfect. <laughs> we can eat her and love her. We can At eat the same time. her and love her. At, At the, the same time. time. Wrong. Eating her and loving her are very compatible, Core. Sapphic Nation. Oh my god. Back from the pre. The future is littered with prizes. And though I'm the main addressee, the, the point that, that I, I must emphasize is. You, you won't, won't get a sniff without me. So prepare for the coup of the, the century. So Be prepared for the merchant scam. Meticulous, meticulous planning, tenacity spanning, I remember that one. decades of denial. Well, simply while I'll I'll be king, king undisputed, undisputed, respected, saluted, and seen for the wonder I am. Yes, Set the my teeth, teeth and ambitions are bared. Be prepared. <laughs> oh my god, and at the Iowa State Fair. Okay. I will eventually stop doing clips and just this is fun. Evie! These are all seed paintings. They're made of uh it's Pokemon made of seeds at the Iowa State Fair because Kid is from Iowa and it's very cute. Name the Pokemon. Name the Pokemon. Oh my God! It's our okay. This is also in Iowa. It's our it's our our hot tub stream in Iowa, and this is one of my favorite clips because I. And 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 yay! Yep. No. Hohenheim. Yes, you're going to be. A, yes, I do remember. You're going to have. You're going to have some littles. Wow, I actually can't see, even though you're the whitest person in the world. <laughs> still no. Still no. Yes, oh, no. you have exciting it. You have such exciting news, Ho and I'm. There he is. There he is. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. No. I was just figuring out how long it takes for the camera to pick us up in the dark. Okay. All right. I'm done. Even though that's one of my favorite clips where I just go ah ah ah, and I just fall over. It's cute. It's fine. I love it. But yes, exciting news, Hohenheim! Congratulations! I'm so excited for you! Look at that kit being very good. Kit, not kit, kitty. Kitten. Kid is a different person. But yes, Hohenheim, we're doing a whole thing where we're finding the best nananas. All of the best nananas. I think that it is. Hey, Jude. But there are many not enoughs, and we're gonna turn it into a thing. Your littles is also from Iowa, ironically enough. Okay, I do love. I have a little. I have a stuffed corn from Iowa, just being adorable. But oh, and I, it's so great to hear from you. How have you been? I know that you have this big news, and that you're you're ready, which is really great. Although it was wild that it was from like various of your partners at the same time and I don't know if they're all um within your realm of responsibility or some of them might be secondary or I don't really know but it just it's clearly an incredibly exciting time for you and your polycule K 
kids going uh, on the possible names list. Ah, as a Saf, which is a big mood. Oh my God, Hohenheim, that might be the sweetest thing I've ever heard in my life. They're good names. They're good names. That's the thing about names that people choose, right? Because obviously Kit chose Kit and I chose Saf. And a name that is chosen is a mood. That's so sweet. Ah. Of course, you get to keep your eye. Hello. Hello. You think you're going to just go off that way? Moonlight? You do. You get to do whatever you want. <laughs> That's the thing. <laughs> but you always throw out my throw off my white balance so hard. My image always gets worse when you do this. Moonlight. You throw my white balance off so bad. To an exact night and hour for conception, which makes it pretty easy. I'm sorry. Are you saying that you have it down in terms of working back to the exact day and hour that it happened? Is that what you're saying? That's got to be what you're saying. There's no other interpretation that remotely makes sense for what you could be saying. You're saying that you know the exact night and hour for conception. All of my partners are equal. Some live far away, but the pregnant ones all live with me. Are all, so here's my question. Are the pregnant ones all pregnant, like with you as the partner for who, who is the primary other parent? Because I know you have three pregnant partners right now, right? I'm sorry. Did all of the conceptions happen on the same night? Which, don't get me wrong, I live a life where I can picture that night, but did that all happen on the same night? Because, awesome, like goals, right? Like, that's rad. Do you have a polycule that's going to have three siblings? I don't think that I thought that was what was going on. I thought it was like... A polycule with three three babies coming in that were sort of varying in uh, conception stories. The only male who isn't infertile in the polycule. Oh, so all three are all three are biologically yours. Is the polycule raising the children together? That's incredible. Your birth I'm sorry. You have three children who are going who are who were conceived on your birthday in your polycule? That's unbelievably beautiful. Hohenheim, your goals. Oh my god, Hohenheim, you are poly goals for life. Jesus, that's incredible. Your partners do similar thing to you with Kit's birthday. You're not wrong. I do do some pretty epic shit with Kit's birthday, although Kit is snipped. This is super correct. Oh, and I'm. That's amazing. Congratulations. That's incredible. You have, oh, and I want to meet them and you and your polycule and your whole deal. It all sounds fucking idyllic. It sounds incredibly idyllic. You have a polycule. Three babies coming into the mix. All going to be raised by this loving circle of people. It sounds fucking perfect. It's incredible. Just, yes, exactly. We would, like, just... I'm so invested. Hohenheim. Just... Every feel in the world. And all of the support, love, and amazement. I'm just, I'm delighted and amazed. My dream is to have the kind of polycule where we could all sort of like live together and, and build a life in a way that is like meaningful. 
in a forward trajectory like that together. That is goals for me. I am grateful on your behalf, if that makes sense. I am delighted. I am amazed. Congratulations doesn't even begin to cover how I feel for you. Hohenheim. Such delight. Mwah. At some point, we be heaving over to the US. Yes, yes, for DragonCon. <gasps> Although that's kind of fallen down in the priorities. If for sure, absolutely. You have babies coming. But if you're ever in the US, California, in the San Francisco area, or if you go to DragonCon, absolutely reach out. You're on the Discord, I think. Um, I'm almost certain. I would not hold it against you if you, uh, if you fell away after I sort of like lost touch with it and shit but yes keep in touch because absolutely we'd be delighted hello sunset 15 strong to at least 18 my goodness incredible well i would i'm i'm i would be so delighted to know more sunset Amazing. All right. Um, put the, I put that on pause, I think, so that I can just, like, leave this on for a minute. I still don't know exactly what... Cat! Should I be in there for some reason? Nope, they're all coming up at zero, so you have to get in there, I guess? I'm not 100% sure how this is supposed to work. I think I need to see it work to see how it's supposed to work. Stop underneath it? Underneath what? Oh, so we need to get her to come here. Alright, I think that's I think that's what's meant. Okay. Alright. And it should do zero. Okay. And holy, I'm, I'm so glad to hear from you. Look at these fucking cats getting in the way. Being adorable and delightful. All right, let's see if this works at all. I think I'm trying to get them into that. I'm trying to get him into that. I'm trying to get her into that pink spot. So it's not just about luring her. I need to make her... I need to make her... Sort of seems like I need to actually, like, take a hit down here. Here we go. Ender... Ender is sitting on the, uh... All right, let's see if just being in it is the point and that like getting her, that will make her come into it. Seems like it. You've got to be kidding me. Is this cool air? That is insane. Do not give me cool air right now. Are you crazy? Why would you do that? Fine. It sort of feels like I'm supposed to do this. Hmm. 
Let's see if this works. I'm not 100% sure what they want me to do. God damn it! Life is hectic at the moment, even before baby news. I'm also in the middle of nursing, diploma, finishing house, and dungeon construction. I know that you've been doing tons of construction, basically as long as I've known you. But yeah, the nursing diploma, and how long do you have left on the nursing diploma? That's incredible, by the way. I... I can't even imagine how much you are uh, juggling right now, but I'm delighted that the tone you're taking seems to be that you feel pretty good about having a handle on it, which is the, you know, like the perfect, the perfect uh, general position to have for... For, you know, babies coming. I'm sure that no matter what, you'd have been on top of it. Who's a good boy? I'm not 100% sure what they want me to do. In the first year, it's a two-year diploma. Oh, and I'm, you're gonna be great. You're totally gonna, you're totally gonna knock it out of the park. Good luck. My mother's a nurse, and she got her diploma when I was a baby. And there are some great stories about the ways that she got through the entire process. House is nearly done. 20 bedrooms with space to add more. That's incredible. I would love to see it, Hohenheim. I've heard so much about it and all of your projects. I'm just, I, I'm totally invested. But yeah, there, there are all these stories about my mother, like, interviewing for nursing school with uh, uh, me as a baby there and like my and um apparently like trying to like like bribing me as a child to just like be quiet and like not do anything and and uh the interviewer being like oh i was really worried because you brought a baby but she was very good and i like apparently i just stood there like i just sat there and drew because my mother outside was just like please just like just sit quietly and don't say anything and draw it. And I just, I did it, apparently. And um, I'm, I'm incredibly proud of my mother. She, because uh, apparently she refused to uh, actually walk at her. Basement has 30 of 32 rooms done. Sub-basement is getting its wall and ceiling lining done next year. And it's become a great workshop space. Oh, and I'm just like, you talk about all this shit that you're doing there, and I'm just like, I'm so excited to see it. I, I really want to see it. And you're in Australia, right? I just, like, I've just always wanted to go to Australia. It's one of the few broad, broad categories of place that I have, that I want to go that I have not had a chance to go yet. Cat! Sunset! I don't know what you want me to do. You're trying to get me to get her to get to the... I see why this was as tricky as it's supposed to be. I think I'm supposed to get her into this spot, but I don't know how to lure her in here. Okay, now it's hot. I really need to get this nest cam put in. Wait, how's this gone? Hang on, we're gonna go to just chatting real quick. Easy cost near Remy the Red. Yes, I was j East Coast near near to Remy the Red. I was just I finally saw Remy the Red because I happened to have like been up at a time that Remy the Red was actually streaming. Today, I didn't get a chance to hang out long because I had work to do, but it was still it was still meaningful. To see Remy. Remy is Remy is good people.
I'm trying. Definitely getting to the point where I like this game is making me want to play. Yeah, no, these are zeros. We need to get him, get her under here, which I think is all about getting her into the square. I might be missing something. It's not. I hope that this is not, like, far from the end. Damn it! How am I missing? I'm trying! I'm trying to get her to come into this... Am I trying to get her into a... Like, straight line that hits... I feel like that must be it, like trying to get her into a straight line. I'm trying! Oh my god, I'm trying to get her to stomp underneath it. Holy shit. Wait, how'd I do that again? Oh, and Hohenheim, by the way, I did I tell you about the Nana Na thing? If you have any um, favorite na 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 songs, as in like, Hey Jude, na 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 na, or like, If I Was a Witch Girl, na 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 na. So yeah, so we're doing a whole thing with um, the like we're trying to figure out like the greatest na 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 songs. We're sort of adding to this playlist, and I'm gonna do a whole. Yeah, so that's the thing that I'm doing. I wanted to make sure that I actually ran it by you. I feel like I probably did, and then I'm, like, doing the thing where I forget, and I accidentally just, like, talk about it all over again. But, fuck it, I'm allowed. Wait, what the fuck? Alright, I'm gonna do it again. One sec. Back to just adding hello real quick. I know the music and everything else stopped. Huh. All right, it is actually being a little weird. I think that might not be me. I think that might be the program being weird. That's weird. It's very weird. Okay, fuck it. I don't care. I don't care enough at this time. It's 1 a.m. Jesus, when did it become 1 a.m.? Probably best for you to heal, Demita. This does sort of, like, I mean, I get it. I get that that's like a very normal thing, but it does sort of make me want to just play my games. Play Persona games and even more than SMT games. Please just come into the box. Yes, come into the box and stop. Yes! Can we just stay here? Will it work? Please just come and stop in this area, right? And stop. Damn it! How do we get you to stop here? I don't know. Am I just like being an idiot? Like, why can't I figure out what I need to do to do this? I think that's, it's very clear to me that this is like, I'm streaming 
and therefore totally failing to successfully get this to work. I don't know. Whatever's going on, I don't get it yet. I'm sure I would get it if I wasn't streaming and only half on top of my shit. Pride in the machine gun is a pretty good thing. I'm trying. I don't know how to do that. I think it's by getting her to run into one of these. Hold on. It's by getting her to do this. And then be stuck in this in this area. I think. Doing my best. What to do here. How are these things closing? Okay, seriously. Back to that. Is something getting... Okay, I'm genuinely confused now. Is a cat on top of, like... A keyboard or something? Why are things being weird? Where is my keyboard? That can't be good, actually. The fact that I don't know where my keyboard is. Honestly, I need to pee anyway, so let's pause. <laughs> I'm still not totally sure what's going on here. Is my... Where's my keyboard? Nothing's gonna be quite clear until I find my keyboard. It's not under here. Stop it. It's not a game. It's not a toy. Not where my keyboard is. It's not there. Keyboard. 
Where'd you go? Are you under here somewhere? I don't see it. That would be a weird place to put it anyway. Keyboard, where'd you go? Are you the reason why things are being slightly strange? Do they fall somewhere? Keyboard, keyboard. Where'd you go, keyboard? You hiding somewhere? Where could my keyboard have gone? Keyboard. Are you in the kitchen? No. Nope. Okay guys, my keyboard is not in the kitchen. In case you were wondering, it's not in the kitchen. Is it in between these sheet? Nope, it's not. All right, I'm gonna put my body under here. All right, well. That's fine. Let's just continue with my gaming TL. Have you looked under the cats? That's where my keyboard naturally lives. Yes, it's usually under the cats, but I've chased off my cats and I still haven't found my keyboard. That is actually where my phone always is. Like, we're being slightly silly about the keyboard because the keyboard is a weird thing to have lost, for sure. Wait, why, why can't I hear that? There it is. Now I can. Where the fuck? Oh my god, I found it. I don't know how it got there, but that's where it was. Let's not talk about it. Let's just, yeah, no, it's usually under. So for real, when my phone is lost, it is almost always under a cat. The cats always sit under the keyboard. Nope, sorry, the, sa the cats, nope. The cats always sit on top of my phone. I don't know if it's that it's something to do with it being warm or usually I think smooth because it's not even usually even like recently on and particularly warm. No. Fuck it. It's just I just want I just want her to go into that square. That's all I want. She's partially in the square. Is that good enough? Is that good enough? Thank God. Finally. It was so hard to get her to go in that square. Even puppets have a backbone. There was a fairly impressive, that shake there was a fairly impressive moonlight jumping right, like, perfectly against the screen, like, fur cleaning the, the screen, basically, right over the table that has the camera on it. So that's what that shake was. It was kind of gorgeous. I did it! I won! Holy shit, I'm up to level 29? Jesus. Although I apparently won by 33 turns. That's lots of turns. But I won! Yay. I wonder if I should put Kate Party back on the... on the Redemptions. I've had this like, um, what's it called? Catnip forever, so it's like old. It's not like fresh or anything. But I think it still works on them. At least psychologically they think that they want the thing that's in the tin. But that's what I used to do for Kitty Party. I used to pull out some catnip and get the cats to come. I wonder what it would do if I took a little bit of catnip and just like put it right here. Believe me, I would love to tell you the story of like the horrible downstairs neighbor that has like, been harassing me. Their side? Pretty shittily. Do you really think you can just bury your own past and start playing the hero? 
Oh wait, what past? What are you talking about? I kind of do want to know about this past. I'm glad I'm paying attention. Okay, that's... Oh, I do hope that this is true, though. I want to know this. Alright, let's find out, even though we're watching a scene right now, what this very old catnip will do. Okay, they do seem to care about the concept. Alright, we'll take the tiniest pinch. Tiniest pinch. And just put it right here. Nope. They do seem to care, even though it's old. All right, I guess they care, even though it's old. So they've never been like act like they're high cats, but they do like want to eat it very badly, and they get a little bit crazy and silly. I lost my keyboard earlier this week in a daze. I ended up putting in one of my kink suitcases and packing into my car for a workshop I didn't realize until I arrived at the crook drop. That is such a thing that I would absolutely do in a haze of ADHD. Yes, you overthrew Marie. All right, my God, they are still reacting to very old catnip. Yeah, no, they're being silly. They're being... Don't eat my hair! The revolution has come! Victory! Rejoice! Freedom! My god, this is like two-year-old catnip. You guys are seriously still being all weird over it? Done the same with my phone in the fridge many times. Okay, I've never put my phone in the fridge. I put my phone in some pretty epic places. Ow! My god, Moonlight, what the fuck? Did she just bit me through this very thick comforter, which she does not do. That is 100% cat, like old catnip shit. The fuck was that? Don't bite me! Why are you all being crazy? I put a tiny pinch of two year old catnip! Seriously? Stop biting me, Moonlight! What the fuck is wrong with you? Alright, don't give Moonlight catnip. I get it. Like, even old catnip. Here, get off. Nope, stop it. Alright, I get it. Never give you catnip. Stop it. You're all insane now. Jesus. Seriously. Apparently, look at how fucking crazy they're acting. And, like, they don't even, like, get high on catnip. They just, like, really want to lick it a lot. And yet, Moonlight fucking bit me through this very thick comforter. They don't do the usual cat high thing, but they, like, get very obsessed with eating it. Are you about to bite me because you think that there's catnip on my fingers? What is wrong with you? Are you got- is the catnip getting stronger with age because- Look at him! He's being all cat on- cat high on catnip right now. 
catnip is not supposed to get stronger with age. It's supposed to get shittier with age. It's supposed to be like old and dry and shitty. What is going on with you guys? Okay, well, this is fine. Fine. The Triforce of Kittens is high now. I guess. Good licks. Sunset is licking. Little tiny bites. Medium bites. More licks. Licks are fine. After leading a successful rebellion, Arena's flag of freedom has been upgraded. Oh god, that does seem like there's more game. The maximum amount of personas you can carry has increased to 20. That seems like there's a lot more game. Would you like to save your current progress? Yes. Absolutely, I would like to save my current progress, and yet, and yet, this seems like there's a lot more game. Is that a third of the game? How far into the game am I? You can totally hear him scratching, can't you? Good scratchy boy. Weird. I want the. Oh yes. Oh yes. This is like the one Do a fun fight. Then does that mean homes on the other side of this door? That's an exciting thought, isn't it? Can I? Is it really wise for me to go back? Oshiro? I'm sorry. I just can't help but dwell on Marie's last words. Oh. One last time. That's certainly true, but if I'm truly a criminal like Marie said, perhaps taking me back with you is actually a poor idea. Hmm. Well, if you can believe it, I've been in your shoes. I had a pretty serious bout of amnesia myself. That's what the last game was about. Yeah. Partially at least for you. Hi Moonlight, you're a good boy. Look at you I sitting all good. Anything. I definitely know how much it can weigh down on you. Hmm. But thanks this game is quite meta. I'm pretty shocked at how much it does the whole meta thing on the tropes of its genre. John Burp. Just what your hands can do. Thanks, everyone. I suppose I can hold my whining down until we're home. I'll tag along for now, just to make sure you're getting home safe. All right, here we go. Back to the real world. Hope you're all ready for this. You do the honors, Joker. Stop fighting me. Stop biting me. Alright, so now I know that it makes a big difference even if I take this crusty ass old. Old as fuck. Oh shit, is that. That looks exactly like the fucking, the, the, sort of the Japanese movie set park thing. What is it called? The movie set thing. They, they use the same thing in Paper Mario. I've been there. 
Oh my god, these cats are so hyper now. Now I know that even one pinch of uh, extremely crusty, uh, dried old catnip will fuck them up a little. KO! It's something Cinema World. It looks much more like the the sort of big, very very um, not crappy, uh, campy theme park of old movies in Japan. Hi, Moonlight. Good boy. character, a new humanoid character. Woman in kimono. You are a new humanoid character. That is a big old thing. Yes, we have to save her, which also means that I'm afraid that we're only halfway and probably almost more certainly a third of the way through this game. I feel like the next time that I play on stream, it's gonna be Tears of the Kingdom. I had a brief moment where, while my mother was sitting, that I like needed to find a way to entertain myself, and I was sitting on this couch, and I just started playing Tears of the Kingdom, and it really worked for me, and I realized that it was sort of coming back to me. I solved at least one or two shrines that I hadn't before. I think it might be coming back. I've been waiting for it to come back. It's not the only thing. We're gonna, we're, 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 I'm sorry, I'm trying to attract an ender to this. Okay, so there, so Moonlight distracted the ender. Moonlight distracted the ender trying to get to this, oh my god. And I know you can hear that. 
because it's right by the microphone. I gotta fucking stop. I gotta fucking stop. <laughs> the cats are being such a thing. All right, everyone is amazing. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. But I think it's time to to raid the to to raid the boy kit. Let's do it. Thank you, Fullerina. I really super appreciate you you chilling. I was totally thinking about specifically you. Today. Nope, that's not right. That's correct. Excellent. See y'all on the other side. And here, I'll even last, like, dance a bit. Nope, there's gotta be a better thing to dance to. Na 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 na